my brain hurts. Or rather, no, my brain's just tired. How's it going? Hello. Good evening. I can't find my gene. I'm coming back with more Netherlands. Oefening, oefeningen, studeren. Hello, it's Fimmer Gina, and I'm back with more Dutch practice, practicing practices, well, actually, Dutch exercises and learning, st studying, whatever, what have you. I don't know. How's the day treating you, Mike? I don't know if you're still there. Can this, uh, maybe... Okay, that's better. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, Nate's got the A1 book, so I, I was trying to finish off the A1 this morning, and then my brain said, Nope! They made me do 72 fill-in-the-sentences. <laughs> and I said, Nope! After that, my brain went, nope, dead, going to sleep. <laughs> but Nate's got the A1 books right now, so I'll go back to the A1 later. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do A2. We're going to do A2 right now. A2. <laughs> A2. Umbering A2. A2. All right. I'm going to listen now. Lesson three. Oh. Oh, I have to type in these words. Um. Oh, okay, let's put something over here. Wait, what did I do with language lamb? <coughs> um, please hear. Okay. Um, but yeah, I have to write these and okay. use your phone and look for a good ans a good translation. Yeah. Okay. So E two less less three to family. Um. Oh shoot! I forgot to open my docs. My document for this, and I'm gonna lose my voice. Hold on. There's just so much, um, <clears throat> I'm forcing myself to do a ton of speech practice with these things, and I think my voice is dying. God damn it. It's in my notes. <clears throat> Last three, two, a milli. Right. Where's my Anki? Where's my Anki? Let's do that. I try to open this thing up. Is it? I want to take a cough drop. I was gonna play a game. I was gonna play some Final Fantasy fourteen. I said no. I, I better do this because my brain's not gonna be relaxed enough to play Final Fantasy. <laughs> Alright. 
You're giving me 83 new words in this lesson. That's Hussein. This isn't really A2 level vocab, it's just... They're just making us learn it all over again. How's it going? How was your day? Oh. <laughs> Mike says hi. Oh, yes. I gotta get this done before February starts. Oh, is that on the knife? The knife, the nephew, male cousin. Oh yeah, yeah, I typed that. It was great. What about you? Oh, I tried to do more Dutch, and then eventually just said my brain said I'm tired. Go to sleep. <laughs> I was gonna play a game, but I gotta get this stuff done. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's two different words here that mean roughly the same thing. This one. Boater. 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 Boater's toddler. This one is also a toddler. Floater. I don't know which one's which. One's older, one's younger. This one's his kid, though. Well, this one's definitely a toddler. Fine. Uh, maybe like two to three, I think. I think. Ages. Oops. Two hundred three. Ages two to three or something, and the noter is. A toddler, a kid, um, ages four to five, I think, is that one? I don't call ages four to five ki a toddler, that's the thing. I don't know. Hello, Laser, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Final Fantasy going. The Puba is, I think, teenager, adolescent. Oh yeah, the adolescent. The crash. Uh, the crash is. I learned this one before. Brain not working for English. 
Yeah, they're using it as a nursery. What is doing the project so far? Um, the Kinder Oppong. Um, Kinder Oppong is um, basically a daycare. Yep. Pet Kinder da Verbleib. Ah. That's also like daycare, but that's um Look, this that's like the daycare center. It's a daycare center. Okay, the other one's daycare as in the the idea of daycare. This one's like a daycare center thing. Hope you have a great stay through your house. I was planning on staying in about my intimate. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <coughs> I was going to play some Final Fantasy fourteen today, but I really need to get through yeah. the Dutch studying before the course starts February 7th. Um, and my brain won't stop thinking about it, so <laughs> I don't think I could sit there and play Final Fantasy ha happily and be relaxed about it if I'm like, my brain is like, no, I've got things to do. <laughs> it's sad. But I do plan on playing some more this month. At least before my time runs out on it. Temporary? Temporary care of it's children. This is like temporary care of children. Yeah, so it's it's daycare. But... Kinder... But then they have Kinder Dach for life. It's like... I understand the. D I understand the no, different. Yeah. See, this is actually the place. Opfang plots. That's what I thought. Opfang plots. Well, right. Yes. For kindermen, from V the elders, Bouton House working. Exactly. Yeah. So that's actually the place. Um, uh, so it would be the daycare. I would say center. The Kinderwache? I don't think I learned that one before. That one's new. Wachen varien baby lichen word rond reden. Oh, is that the baby carriage? <laughs> Stroller. Yeah. yeah, baby carriage. <laughs> you could say pram if you're British. Het uh, huwelijk. The marriage. Yeah, the marriage. <coughs> Next one. Het echt. Par. This is the spouse. I'm pretty sure. I actually never looked up the actual definition on here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Echt paar. Echt paar. Betrouwd pair. Yeah. Uh, married pair. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is actually the married couple. It is a married couple. Sorry. Het stel. Het stel. Stel is like. 
group by a car horned headstyle. Yeah, this is a couple then. Next one. The partner, that's obviously the partner. The relatsi, the relation. <laughs> Let's find something potentially better. Relatsi. In the trekking start. For how long to submission? Is this just a relationship? <laughs> I think this is just a relationship in this case. Is this just a relationship? Relatsi? No, relation acquaintance. I'm gonna do it that way. Uh the lifta. The love. The lifta. Yeah. <coughs> As in a person. Hey. Uh thanks for the sub mate. Where's Kitty? Kitty says she heard, she hears the sound of shinies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She says she hears the sound of shinies. <laughs> Where was I? A ninja butler says something. Nate Kicks Entity just subscribed for 17 months in a row. Alright, I'm just going to shout out Nate. And he was last playing Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Lifta, Lifta, Lifta. Let's look up Lifta. I'm gonna put this as oops. Okay. Pretty shit. I can't spell anymore. How do you spell endearment? <laughs> oh, I was right, okay. <coughs> Next to group Nam is the nickname to Faryada. The birthday? Fariada? Anna Fariada? Yep. Does it also mean anniversary? I guess it also does. The life. Type the age. Ah, boy. 
pretty sure that's just Mother's Day. <laughs> I don't think we ever say the Father's Day. Ruin to grow. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'm gonna give you a shout out for hosting. I almost forgot. Oh, there you go. Why am I typing in there? Ruin. <laughs> Next, op passing. Op passing. Too many P's. <laughs> op passing. I'm not sure what that means. To watch out. Uh, to mind ten. <coughs> to watch out. Oh, it is that meaning, okay. To attend. Mind. I think in this case, oh, it actually does mean babysit. Okay. Kenan is to know someone. Next. Und to meet someone. Pardon, fun. To love, like, um. <coughs> Usually, like something. Numa to name. Um, it's to name. Mention. Call. Okay. Hater to be called. Feriadach Beren. Feriadach Beren to celebrate one's birthday. Opposite, that's probably as an expression to visit, on visit. I'm here for a visit, I'm here visiting. <coughs> Oops, to see. I'd have to see an example of how that's used. Op bezook. Uh huh, this is the same one. Yeah, visiting. I don't know what the difference is between. <clears throat> I've actually never seen this in Dutch. Like, bezook. <coughs> it's basically visit. And bazook is visit. 
It's basically synonyms. my voice people why is my nose running That's nice. Something is nice. Yeah, is nice. Pretty friendly. Nice. Uh, Likeable is better. Uruzi. Mm -hmm. uh, why is there no hat? Dar hat. Uruzi is an argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a het word. Hetsurutsu. Durutsu. Difference of opinion. I can only put in the window. Uh, this is what? Uh, set a row or qu quarrel. I ain't British, but here. <laughs> they had a row. Uh, <laughs> I want to see. It comes up. In both senses and spare adjectives. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just the adjective form. Hey, pensioner. Pensioner. Um, what you think it means? Retired. Okay, that's all the vocabulary in lesson six. Should have gone into the right deck. Into the right deck. Oh, Look, I have five. There's some new ones to review. New, new ones to learn according to Malachi. All right. So I'm just going to read. There's a yeah. bunch of reading to do now. Uh, let's close that for now. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be reading. Doing the reading exercises. How many do they have? Four. And then there's mm -hmm. listening exercises on their YouTube channel. <coughs> Slack. <coughs> Excuse me. No. is going to die with all this reading. <laughs> oh, 
which one do you want me to do? I'm not sure actually. We will see. Alright. <coughs> Hopefully my throat doesn't die. Loose <sighs> fire to hide. Bay. Loose fire to hide. Next. Drink some water first. All right. Text in the family. The family. I don't know how to pronounce his family's last name. The family Castian. In het dorp getorn woont de armeense familie Castian. Dit gezin moet Nederland vertalen. Het Nederlandse ministerie van Veiligheid en Justitie. Justitie. I'm not used to reading this one out loud. Justitie. Oh, she does say ju. Justitie. 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 Veiligheid en Justitie wil dat het gezin snel vertrekt. Oh no! Tijd om tijd neemt hij altijd na. De familieleden, de familieleden, vader, moeder en twee kinderen van zeven en vijf jaar oud moeten terug naar het land van herkomst. Het ministerie van veiligheid. En justitie zegt dat de ouders geen juiste informatie hebben gegeven bij hun aankomst in Nederland. Please. Het gezin heeft veel steun, heeft veel steun van mensen uit het dorp en van de um, ambtenaren. Van these are new, these are sort of words I'm not used to reading out loud. Um, tenaren. Um, tenaren. Yeah. Okay. Van de gemeente. Gemeente. De kinderen gaan naar de basisschool in Gieton. Zij hebben ook vriendjes op school. Op school. Zij spelen elke dag met de Gietonse kinderen. De vader van de kinderen helpt als vrijwilliger bij de bibliotheek van de basisschool. De moeder helpt in het woonzorgcentrum. Zij brengt koffie bij bejaarden en maakt een praatje met hen. Veel mensen in Giethoorn begrijpen niet waarom het ministerie het gezin nu naar Armenië stuurt. Iedereen wil graag dat het gezin in Giethoorn blijft. Ah. <coughs> so this Armenian family is being told to leave the Netherlands because, because I guess they didn't. It seems they didn't give. They didn't give the right, correct information. <laughs> when they arrived in the Netherlands but but because but their their community is saying oh well we they, we don't understand why they should leave anyways Het gezin Kastian heeft bijna five years in Nederland gewoond 
de kinderen hebben geen enkele herinnering. Herinnering, sorry. De kinderen hebben geen enkele herinnering aan hun geboorteland en zij spreken prima Nederlands. De ouders hebben hun inburgeringsdiploma. <coughs> All right. That was text one. Right. A2, let's talk about being divorced. <laughs> I know, Mike. <laughs> Not even done the burglary and burglary and stuff, and they're like, let's get kicked out of the country already. I was thinking the same thing, honestly. I'm like, okay, you're telling us what could happen if we don't do this. Oh. <clears throat> Prepare for disaster, face the consequences. Yeah, okay. <coughs> okay. Answering questions now. Multiple choice questions. Vraag <coughs> 1. Waarom moet het gezin Kastia nu terugreizen naar Armenië? Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, it's C. Say. Antwoord C. It's, uh, the elders have a neat, the farhide, the farhide foretelled to design our Nederland common. Okay, next question. Vraag <laughs> 2. Spreken vader, moeder en de kinderen Kastien allemaal Nederlands? Ja. Yeah. Ja. Uh. Well, it says that the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it says the kids speak Dutch well. Zij right. spreken prima Nederlands, and but uh, the parents have their Burgerings diploma. Right. So, Burgerings diploma is the diploma that I'm gonna get after I do the exams for this stuff. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna say A. Let's put A. Yeah, as I have been all of fear Netherlands learned. They all learned Dutch. Vraag three. There's a. Hold on. Why is it piece of? <laughs> this thing. It's distracting. I feel like I'm seeing a piece of hair flying across me. Vraag three. Wat voor werk doet mevrouw Kastien? Uh, mevrouw Kastien, what kind of work does she do, do? Does What kind of work does she do? Uh, antwoord A. Uh, zij werkt met oude mensen. Uh, she says, it says that she works in a in the mother helped in head von zorg centrum all right so i answer those questions but i should type in the vocabulary the new words in the text or at least the highlighted words in the text gotta do some things over here Oh, 
what's the difference between for Trekken and for Latin? Oh, it's already there. Like what is the? I'm gonna look this up. For trekking. For trekking is to leave, like temporarily leave. I guess for Latin is to permanently leave. This is just like to leave a place, but for Latin. This seems to have like more of a permanent context, like to leave school, like when you graduate. For Lata. For Lata. For Lata. Lassen. I'm gonna say, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it as it is, I think. There's a lot of these these words, that, verbs that start with the. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Look. Hide. And just did see look at that. That's just like safety and justice. <laughs> but stop it. No oh, good lord. Yes, everyone's so happy about that here. Next. Uh, for trekking. Okay. Now they want for trekking to leave. <coughs> I think I get it. Her coast. Her coast. Her coast. Man, I'm pretty sleepy and tired. <coughs> I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. Tonight. Origin. This is probably like origin. Yeah. Basically, this context it would be, um, yeah, Hedgeland from Herkoms, the country of origin. Huh? But Tarakan is leaving the people usually are expected back. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like, like I mean, that's what you have at the airport, you know? Departures for Tarakan. People are just coming and going. Like, he left early as when he had to throw from more. For Latin is leaving without the intention of returning. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's like for lots and you could leave school, like like when you leave school and graduate, you're not gonna go back after you graduate. So, yeah, they want them to leave the country. It's more permanent. That's kind of what I was thinking. Permanentship. So basically, like, well, I could probably just put it as leave behind to leave behind. Where is it? Oh, it's already in there. Um. <coughs> Do not. Okay. 
That's what I was thinking made more sense. So where was I? Herkomst. I did the Herkomst, right? There's, okay, there's that one. And... <coughs> Ankomst. 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 Two combs. Two combs to future. <laughs> oh boy. That's uncommon. Um, <laughs> it's a dull word. Okay. The arrival. Two uncombs. The arrival. And I'm tied fourth time. Where's the first one? Zoom clint. Head time. Teacher. <laughs> um, Stun is support. This is support. Uh, head stun? No, just stun. Right. That's her door. Um, Tim. Um, Tim. Nar. I think the sig. That's the singular. Yeah. <laughs> Up to nar. <coughs> Official officer. Yeah. It's basically like a government official. <coughs> By an overhide. I should put just the government. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna put the government official. Next. Okay, what's this one? Oh, stop scrolling on me. Why do you have two different words? For, wait. Why are there two different words for future? Wait, which one? Oh, one's German and one's uh, Norwegian. Vorhangenheit. What did? Ahead of time. Weird. <laughs> Next word. The Amtenar. <coughs> Out in het Von so Het Von Sorg Center That's basically um Jesus <laughs> English not working I know what this means <laughs> I, I, I remember things by like having images in my head. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> It's like an old folks home. <coughs> old ages. What do we, what do we call these places now, what? Nate? What? What do you call the old folks home now these days? I have no idea. It's In Dutch or English? English. No, I think it's um, still called an old folks home as far as I know. I'm gonna be more polite and call it a residential care. It is residential care. Thank you, Mike. It's retirement home. <laughs> That's not what we call it, though. 
That's what it's officially called. Thank you. I, I knew I forgot it because I had to put my grandma in one. <laughs> like English. What's wrong with English? Like I can see the place in my head. <laughs> Babadiyadin. Um, what's the singular for this one? Because we're just going to put the singular. Elderly person. No, I guess it could be an adjective too, but I don't think so. In this case, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. No, they mean people now. Mat in Pratia, in Pratia. Um, a chat. Um, pet Pratia, the chat. Yeah, I didn't think that chat would be Pratia. That's actually funny. It's an adjective only, single one. But clean and color. I, I think I want it to do this like this. Let's see, not a single one. All right. Oh, sadly, I was drinking some water, and now I think I need a break. <coughs> There's four more that I have to read out loud. <coughs> okay. <coughs> And I do the next one and just take a short break. Text fe in modern chizin. Karo comes out in modern chizin. Oh, sorry, it was too loud. Let's do that. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna start all over. In modern chizin. Karo comes out in modern chizin. Sein elders wohnen nicht mehr bei Alkar. Sie sind gescheiden, all Jahr geleiden. Kara hilft, kein Brüders auf Susan. Hayes hat einige Kind von sein Vater und Mutter. Die elders von Kara haben ein neues Alibi und ein neues Partner. Oh, okay. So hat das Tegenwoordig. 
The father von Caro wohnt nu samen mit sein Mann. <laughs> okay. Sei sein nicht vertraut, mar sein sein well and still. The father von Caro is homosexual. Homos können auch trauen in Nederland, aber der Vater von Caro ist nun noch nicht getraut mit seinem neuen Partner. Dort der Weg wohnt Caro, wohnt Caro bei seinem Vater und bei der Freund von seinem Vater. Ich muss mal sehen, wie sie es pronounce. Ich denke, ich pronounce es richtig. Homosexuell. Ja. <coughs> Du Mutter von Caro ist vor der zweiten Kehr getraut. <lacht> Sei heft nu ein neuer Mann. Und da sind drei Kinder in Haus. Drei Jungs. Da sind drei Jungs von seiner Mutter und von her neu echt genutzt. Als Caro, Caro in het Weekend bei seiner Mutter kommt, dann kommt er in ein Vollhaus. Und die drei Jungen sind hell druck. Sie sind wel tien Jahre jünger dan Caro und sie machen viel Lewei. Sie werden dort het Haus, sie machen soms ein Beta Russi, Russi mit der Kar und sie lasten nach Musik, auf Kaiken nach Films, auf der Computer, auf, auf der Television. Die neue Kinder von der Mutter von Caro sein half Brüs. Das ist wel ein Heck Hollands Wort. Half, half, half Brüs. Nederlands is machen all tight, mar wer neue in Hecke worden. Freselig. It's not really that hard. It's like from English. Half Brüs, half brothers. Like, how long has this been going on? Like, how does she suddenly have, like, I'm confused as to how she said, how his mo this person's mom has three new three other kids that are half brothers in such a short period of time. Or maybe it's a long time. <laughs> a long time ago? Years ago. Okay, thought so. <laughs> All right. Actually, I should add the words in first and then answer the questions. Huskaiden is divorced. Huskaiden is divorced. Right? Huskaiden ago. I've learned these before. Um, het einige kind. <clears throat> it just makes more sense doing it this way. The only child. <laughs> just, uh, we already have that, right? <clears throat> Didn't I? That still? Yeah, it's still. And we have Rootsy already. Alright. <coughs> Alright, answer the questions. Okay. Frag ein. Bei wie wohnt Caro? Yeah, I think she. <laughs> <coughs> Bay, 
als Wort B. Hai wohnt dort weg bei seinem Vater und in Hitze Weekend bei seiner Mutter. Frag 2. Sind die Alters von Karel getraut? Nein. Sie sind nicht getraut. Ja, <coughs> yeah, they're not. Oh, wait. Are the parents. It doesn't, it's, it's not asking if the, her par if his parents are married to each other. They're asking if they're married at all. They, uh, <coughs> the father of Carlo is new betrothed with the man. No, yeah, this is like alibi. Where betrothed? No, the mother of Carlo is betrothed. Yeah, the mother is actually married. And would say. Frag 3. Heeft Karo Brothers of Zussen? Aunt Spot B. Nay, I have. Hij heeft geen broers, maar hij heeft wel drie half-broers. Dus drie half-brothers. <coughs> Ravenfall Raid. Alright, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to come right back and do text 3 and 4 next. Very short break.
Ik ben er een zo'n gek op kaas. Aha. <coughs> Aha. Kaas. Alright. Ik ben terug. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. Um, drinking water. To help prevent my throat from dying. Yeah. <coughs> hey Rachel, how's it going? My throat is gonna die doing all this. <coughs> all right. More reading exercises. <laughs> Text, text three. Yosef Domingo. Yosef. Yosef. Ik heet Yosef Domingo. Ik ben een jongen van vier jaar oud. Ik ga ook al naar school elke dag. Hartstikke leuk. Natuurlijk veel leuker dan het kinderdag verblijf. Dat is toch echt iets voor de kleintjes. De uh, poters, potertjes en de baby's. Wow, they want to hurt my head. <coughs> I know this word, I'm just not used to saying it out loud, really. Potertjes. Potertjes. <laughs> for the kleintjes, the potertjes and the babies. <clears throat> okay, this kid is four years old and he's writing this? Seriously. <laughs> what the hell? What four year old kid writes like this? <coughs> Not even in English. My elders won in Nederland. Marzai sign. Daar niet allebei geboren. Mijn moeder wel. Maar mijn vader is geboren in de Filipijnen. Eén zus van mijn vader woont in Nederland. In Friesland. Dat is mijn tante. I want to see Dina. <laughs> I want to say Dina. <laughs> Dina. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that is my tante Dina. Zai is hell leaf. My father comes out and has in met Nehen Kinderen. Oh my god. You know, some Dutch families are humongous here. <laughs> Somebody was telling me, I think that they had seven siblings. I was like, whoa. And we're talking Dutch. <laughs> Not the immigrants, Dutch. <laughs> My father comes out and has in met Nehen Kinderen. Hi, hey, dus a Nordfell, Bruce and Zussen. I knew someone who was one of. Oh my god. <coughs> I think they need other hobbies. That sign for Nederland echt niet gewend. Why on't gewend? That sign. I have this a non felt bruise in the sun. That sign will in Nederland echt niet gewend. 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 I feel like I know this, but I'm not sure. Accustomed. Yeah. What? Bij ons zijn de gezinnen een stuk kleiner. Ja, oh sorry, I'm just still thinking about the sentence. Hello, kebab. How's it going? 
No, I'm reading this book right here. This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one that's on the screen. <clears throat> How are you today? All right. Yeah. It kept this in the Philippine and hell fell arms and tonsils. And it kept that oak fell naven, Nathan and Nichten. DZ ik bana know it. Ik weet niet hoe ze heten. En oma van mijn. En oma van mij woont in de Filipijnen. Haar heb ik een paar keer gezien. Maar ik heb ook nog Nederlandse familie. Mijn Nederlandse moeder geeft geen broers, maar wel een zus. Zij komt heel vaak op bezoek. Zij heet Tante Jiska en zij is heel lief. Zij komt vaak oppassen. Maar verbeeld als mijn moeder gaat sporten of als zij s'avonds moet vergaderen, vergaderen voor haar werk. In Nederland heb ik geen neefjes of nichtjes. Nog niet. Mijn Nederlandse opa en oma zie ik vaak. Zij willen altijd leuke dingen met mij doen. Zoals naar de Derentown gaan en ijsjes eten. Lekker. Lekker. <coughs> Lekker ice, yes. Good. Was going to sleep, but randomly decided to go on Twitch instead. Interesting. <laughs> I guess that happens to people sometimes. Okay, uh, I'm going to put these words. Okay, there's some words highlighted here that I'm going to put in the in my Anki deck. Heart sticker. I know what this means. <laughs> I'm going to look it up again. It doesn't mean terribly. It really doesn't. <laughs> Good decision. Mike. Hey. <laughs> Funny. Mike, are you on Twitch like 24 7 or something? <laughs> I think I'm only doing one lesson tonight and taking a break. Um, I want to look up something though because I'm pretty sure I learned this word. <laughs> it's like. <clears throat> It's like very, like mm -hmm. very, it's like informal usage. It's this one that I want. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Man. What? <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Mm. Very. Don't do that. That was in my, that was from my teacher self Dutch actually. It is such a shame mm -hmm. that they purposefully sabotage the annual reports. What? Are you talking about Duolingo? Potters, potters, yes, potters, yes, het, het, potters, yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm going to put because they basically mean the same thing right now. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Do you have any Dutch learning tips? I'm like really beginner level and want to be exposed to language more. Mm. TV show tips? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> probably if you really if you really want to watch a TV show and learn some Dutch, probably just watch Hoda Tide the Slechte Tide. It's the it's it's <coughs> it's standard it's standard soap opera. <coughs> they don't have a lot of I mean it depends on what kind of shows you're interested in. But in my opinion, they don't have a lot of great shows here in Dutch. <coughs> um a science fiction, most Dutch people go watch English movies and TV shows. Fantasy, same thing. Face stream. Oh, thanks, Mike. 
<laughs> no. No. <coughs> How's the Duolingo? Are you doing Dutch on Duolingo or anywhere else? There's also a few other websites. I do have a few other websites that I use. Um, I also used, uh, originally, I used Teach Yourself Dutch. <coughs> Before there was Duolingo. We could try using that, and they also have, they do have the stuff on their website now. Let me see, teach yourself. Um, there, they also have it on here. They have the audios online now, which is nice. So all you really need is the book. All you really need is the book, and then you can listen to the audio on here instead, which is really nice. <laughs> Other than that, um, I don't know. I think Busu now has a Dutch course, actually. Busu <coughs> has Dutch now. You can try Busu as well. Let me see. Here's a link. Busu.com. You can also try that one. They didn't have Dutch before. They added it recently, I'm pretty sure. Um, but back to this. Um, right. Um, Heart sticker. Po po poters? Poters? No. Uh, po poters? Poters. 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 I mean, they did have a couple, they do have a couple of shows that I have a couple of shows that might be interesting. Uh, you might want to try this one if you like science fiction. Mm -hmm. But it, this one's kind of strange. Science. It's like com it's comedy science fiction. And, um, and I also watched the 12th on Oldenheim. This is probably my favorite Dutch show <coughs> so far. Uh, Maybe just this one might be better. Mm. This was probably one of my favorite ones that I watched. That was actually Dutch. I was impressed. They actually did a good one with this one. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I read comments by other people, like Dutch people. They didn't like it. And I'm like, I liked it. <laughs> mm. Oh, did I just close my chat? Oh, shoot. I hate when that happens. Hold on a second. I accidentally closed my chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm talented. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the links. Other than that, I'd say mm -hmm. just practice a lot. And yes, the listening, I, I, under, I understand. Trying to find the resources for listening is kind of hard with Dutch. But. Mm -hmm. <coughs> also, if you can get Mango languages and Modli languages, they have Dutch as well. <laughs> and language jobs. <laughs> There's a link somewhere down on my about page about um, where I'm learning all the different languages. <laughs> it's a list of the languages I'm learning and also the resources. Um, all right, where was I? Anki? Anki. Anki. My Anki deck. Yeah, I'm just going to do that because it really is just a diminutive. <coughs> that's on the Nederland echt niet te wind. I try to parse the sentence. That is my tante. Okay, the, this paragraph here, this one sentence is throwing me off because they're talking about this writer, the person writing this is talking about his family. <laughs> Are they, they saying that 
they're not used to large families in the Netherlands? Because that's not true, okay? <laughs> and I don't think my Dutch is that good yet that I can write a whole story like this. <laughs> Maybe a short blog, but not a whole story. <coughs> yeah, I think they're trying to say that they're not used to large families. I have to send on Felbrus and Zusen. So he has. Dusenorn. <laughs> Why is that word even there? Enorm. Felbrus and. Zusen, why is Dus enorm? He has a lot of brothers. Felbrus. What is enorm modifying there? Okay. It seems to be just reinforcing that it's a very big family. <coughs> Accustomed, yeah. Havend. Venen. Um, it's this to get used to. about the links. <coughs> Catacombs of the Perished Slayer is available type dungeon. Yes, you guys can learn Dutch with me if you want. You can learn Dutch until you, your ears are bleeding up. Bleeding Dutch. Uh, I think I'm just going to be working on the A2 tonight. I don't know. I'll see how I feel, Nate. It's okay. Huh? Either way, I'm done. Good job. How much did you do? 25? I'm still doing it, but I'm done with the book. So no, what are you on now? 24. Ich bin albatrotz up, Nate. Oh, Mike just said it. Why is I'm trotz up, yeah, Nate? Uh huh. Look, that's what he said. <laughs> He'll be on the A21 level soon enough. I mean, Nate does read faster than me. I expect he'll go through the materials faster than me. But he is multitasking challenged. <laughs> I already know what naif and nicht mean. I don't need to, I'm not putting in the plurals because I know how to make plurals in Dutch. Oh. Um, I think we already put off the zook. Mm. Mm. Oh, <coughs> Du, deer in town. We know what that is. The zoo. Aisyas. Ice cream. We monotask so we can only mess up one thing at a time. <coughs> I guess there is that. All right, now to answer the question, does anybody remember the story I just read to you guys? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that 
this like ten minutes ago. Frachain. Who fell Brewers and Zusen heft Josef Domingo? Didn't he say nine? No. I think his father. <coughs> Excuse me. No, his father comes from a family of nine. Uh huh. person actually has any siblings. They're talking about their relatives. Oh, hey, the multiple yeah. choice. <coughs> They're trying to trick me. Mm. See, this is tricky. He doesn't. This person doesn't say how many siblings they have. <coughs> but you can't assume it's zero because maybe they're just not saying. They don't remember the story. <laughs> So, I'm going to say that stat neat in the text. I'm going to say D. <laughs> On for day. Because he actually doesn't say anywhere. <coughs> All right, frag, frag, ah, frag te. I'm gonna lose my voice. Faron kont tanta yiska fak op zuk by Joseph Domingo. Tanta yiska, tanta yiska. Uh huh. All passing. Antwort A. A. Ah. Ah, okay. Antwort A. Ah. Um. Yiska. Tante Yiska. Zai passed up him. Up him. Als sein Mutter. Mutter. Al kat of mut verken. Okay. Frag. 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 Dri. Frag. Dri. I can't speak anymore, guys. <laughs> Out back land, count the mother on Joseph Domingo. Um, the mother is Dutch. His mother is Dutch. On Sport Bay, out Netherlands. Okay. That was that one. <coughs> back to this. Back to this one. Um, you guys can see the link at the top, actually. Christmas. There. This is what I'm doing. A2 Dutch. <laughs> okay. Back to this one. Text fear. Was under family in Nederland. My family won't need here. Ik ben alleen gekomen. Ers ging ik met het vliegtuig naar Egypte, daarna met een taxi naar Libië. Yeah. <coughs> Egypt. Egypte. 
R two D two. Uh huh. <laughs> One of my emails has a D two in it. A hipta. A hipta. A hipta. A hipta. Libya. Libya. Okay. We got that right. Egypto. Ikwam in in boat nar Italia. Dar wondet ik zes manden. Ooh, they're using past tense in here. Ik heb daar gewerkt bij een boer. Met de trein ging ik in april 2015. Nar Nederland. It was in Lange Reis. <laughs> yes, Egypt and Libya. Waar ik vandaan kom? Ik kom uit Syrië. Ik weet niet precies waar mijn familie woont, want veel huizen zijn kapot. Ons huis ook. Daarom wonen mijn ouders. And my brothers and Susan knew of fell for cylinder platsen. Egypten. Egypt. The former are the Norwegian names, but also English. Huh? I know what the English names are, right? <laughs> Why is this saying German? Oh, wait. What? The region uses English ones? <laughs> nice. That's funny. Okay, I just got what she said. <laughs> this is the way, yes. Right. Okay, where was I in the story? <laughs> It come out serie. Ik weet niet precies waar mijn familie woont. Want veel huizen zijn kapot. Ons huis ook. Daarom wonen mijn ouders en mijn broers en zussen nu op veel verschillende plaatsen. Ik heb soms contact met mijn familie via Facebook en Skype. Twee broers zijn ook in Europa. Zij wonen nu in Zweden. Ik wil ook naar Zweden verhuizen. Zweden is een mooi land. Ik ben daar geweest. Ik heb daar mijn broers gezien. Maar ik kan niet verhuizen. Dat mag niet. Ik moet nu eerst in Nederland blijven. Ik heb geen geld om steeds op familiebezoek te gaan. Twee andere broers van mij leven nog. Zij zijn in Syrië, maar ik weet niet waar zij zijn en wat zij doen. Twee broers van mij zijn overle overleden. Algerie, ja, yeah, close to the French, in Marokko. Ik heb ook vier zussen. Twee zijn verdwenen weg. Oké. Okay. Niemand weet waar zij zijn. Twee andere zussen wonen bij mijn ouders in het Syrische Aleppo. <laughs> Aleppo? <coughs> Don't even know how to pronounce that in English anyways. Aleppo. Aleppo. Okay, wait, touch. Wait. I want to hear how, they, how it's pronounced. Aleppo. 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 <laughs> Zij wonen in het huis van mijn oom. Ik ben geboren in Syrië in een grote zin. Er waren elf kinderen. <laughs> maar nu ben ik zonder familie in Nederland. Okay, yeah, I lost count. <laughs> okay. 
Should I do the ants questions first and then type the words in? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know the past tenses. Do I want to type them in? <coughs> Hing is just the past tense of Khan. I think I'm not going to bother because I do know it. Longer rice and longer rice. Verschillende. I think in this case it would mean not just mean different places, but various. Various or different. Well, it can mean both. Verschillende. One, two, three. We will lager, lagerie. Platzen. Uh, platzen. Can I remember it's Platz and Plat is Platz Dollar Hat the Platz, right? The Platz? The Platz. Overladen. Overladen is uh, died. Passed away. Died. All right. Foot <coughs> veinen disappeared. Foot. Foot. Venen has disappeared, I'm pretty sure. To disappear. Or is it disappeared? Oh, that's already there. But Venen? Because it actually does mean to disappear, right? Oh no, it is the past tense. But weinen is to disappear. Sorry. Weinen. Oh jeez. There's more than this other words. All right. Frag ein. Who will brewers? Frag ein. Who will brewers for my sein noch in Leiden? Who will brewers? Two other. Oh man, I got to read. This. See, I told you I lost count. I wasn't counting. So he has two brothers, Erosa and Europe. Yeah, he talks about how he has two brothers in Europe that live in Sweden. And he wants to go live in Sweden with his brothers. And he has two other brothers that are still living and they're in Syria. <coughs> But he doesn't know where those two are. So he has four brothers that are still living, cause, and because he also had two that died. So Frachin, <coughs> sorry, Frachin. What am I doing? Frachin. Yes. Who felt brothers for my sein noch in Leben? So answered A. Okay, Frach 2. Who ben ich in Nederland ankommen? 
no, that no. the boat. I think it was a boat. Yeah, no. yeah. Ich war in a no, boat. It's no, Italia. So Italia. Italia. All right. So you took a boat. That's what you know, to say. Wait, wait. Oh, how did he arrive? Oh, sorry. How did he arrive in the Netherlands? Sorry. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yes, met the time. Yeah. Met the time. Ah. Antwoord ah. Because he took a boat to... First, he took a plane to Egypt, then a taxi to Libya, so plane, taxi, then a boat to Italy. <laughs> and then later he took finally took a train to the Netherlands. Frag <laughs> 3. Waar zijn mijn vader en moeder nu? Um, yeah. <coughs> his par his parents are still in Syria. Two other Susan wohnen by my elders in Het Syrisa Lapo in Syria. Uh on support A. All right, that's the reading comprehension. Next. Okay, now we get to use the online stuff. Okay. Say, Lauster Fadigheit. So you have to listen to me try to read. Lauster Fadigheit. Lauster Kaik Nar, the video up at YouTube canal. All right. YouTube canal. Hank and Ingrid. This one. <laughs> So, should we read the questions first before I watch the video? <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun. Let's read. Von Yori and Desiree. <laughs> oh, the brother and sister thing. Texting. Hesprek von Jordi and Desiree, Brur, 12 years old, and Zeus, 13 years old. Frag 1. Where are the elders von Jordi and Desiree? Frag 2. What has Jordi copen for sein mother? Frag 3. What says Desiree over Jungens? <laughs> this, be fun. this might be funny, actually. Okay, I'm going to listen to it at probably two times speed, though. Still sound. Okay, wait, it's quiet. Why is it so quiet? I can't hear him. It's um, quiet. Zijn <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Maybe I should just listen to this at normal speed. She's not happy with him. She never is. <laughs> Let's go back. No, 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 wrong one. Can we go back one? There we go. So her brother is bugging her while she's trying to study, but, but, <coughs> okay, well, let's see what the questions are. Varzan de Aldous Juan Yori and Desiree. I was, um, she doesn't actually say. Antwoord A. Ape. Ape, Antwoord A. That is neat, dadelijk. Uh, what am I doing? Ah. Vraag 2. Wat gaat Jori kopen voor zijn moeder? Um. <coughs> I don't think he actually knows. Open I think she told him to go buy soap. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this again carefully. Can you take yourself soaker in the winkle? No. Should I listen to this at normal speed? Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what speed I want to listen to these at. Chrome. Zijn papa en mama al thuis? Nee, nog niet. Hoezo? Nou, het is al laat. Weet jij waar ze zijn? Nee, geen idee. It's too slow. Misschien zijn ze I'm pretty sure Dutch kids don't talk that slow. Kan ze zijn. Zijn papa en mama al thuis? Nee, nog niet. Hoezo? Nou, het is al laat. Weet jij waar ze zijn? Nee, geen idee. Misschien zijn ze op bezoek bij opa en oma. Kan zijn. Nou zeg, aan jou heb ik altijd niets. Nee, inderdaad, aan mij heb je niets. Goed, goed, doe maar rustig. Ik doe maar rustig. Ik zit even te studeren. Laat me met rust. Studeren? Jij? Ja, ik. En nu de deur uit jij. Wegwezen. Wat heb jij? Ik vraag alleen maar naar papa en mama. En ik zeg dat ik niet weet waar ze zijn. Klaar. Ik vraag je, is er nog cola? Kijk zelf maar. Doei. Nog één ding. Ga jij een cadeautje kopen voor mama's verjaardag? Nou, ik heb al wat. Jij bent laat. Morgen is ze jarig. Ik kan niks vinden. Ja, ja. Heb jij een tip? Een stukje zeep misschien? Uh, nee. Wasje bloemen misschien? Ja. Ze niet dat een uit. Je kan beter zelf zoeken in de winkel. Hm. Aan jou heb ik niks. Nee. Maar dat had ik al eerder gezegd. Zeg wat nu van samen. Ga je nou eindelijk? Ja, ik ga. Nog één korte vraag. Vinden meisjes. Alle jongens. Stom. Nee, 
Niet Sorry, alle jongens, no, maar jou no, wel. No. <laughs> she's like, are you going now, finally? And he's like, yeah, after one question. And he's like, do you find all boys and, and girls stupid? And she's like, no, but you. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, okay. I don't think he knows, he doesn't know what he's going to buy for his mom's yeah, birthday. Yeah, um, yeah. What did your mother for his mother on the day? He knows he's not going to buy. Okay, frag three. What says Desiree over youngins? <laughs> hey, dumb Dave. How's it going? Hi, Dave. I'm good. How are you? Yeah. I'm a little tired, but that's fine. Frag three. Nit alle youngins ein stomp, maar Jordi is wel stomp. Yeah. On to work today. All right, next video. Next video. Let's do this. We still have one point. One point two five actually feels comfortable. <coughs> oh. Um. Uh, let's see. Hesperic from Case and Karen, two elders. Op het schoolplein. Oké. Okay. En vraag 1. Hoeveel kinderen heeft Kees? Vraag 2. Waarom gaat Laila niet naar de crash? Did you say crash or crash? It, it's a French word. It's crash. But curious. Yeah, I know it's French. Uh, but Dutch people. Crash. Oké, okay, they do say crash. That's good. Warum hat Lala niet naar de crash? Uh, how's it going, Dave? How's your day been? How's the New Year treating you? Don't know if I saw you pop in since the New Year's. Vraag uh, 3. Hoeveel kinderen heeft Karen? Okay, how many children do each of them have and why did Lila not go to the nursery? Hoi, Jozef kan nu al een beetje lezen en schrijven. En hij vindt het leuk. Spelen en leren. Zo gaat dat op school. Ja, mijn Kareltje is nu bij de kinderopvang en thuis meestal aan het spelen. Hij pakt dan een stuk papier en een stift. Hij maakt een grote streep op het papier en roept dan... Papa, papa, kijk eens, dit is een letter. Ik kan al goed schrijven. Ja, lachen. Wacht maar. Nu is hij nog een kleuter. Maar over een jaar schrijft hij zijn naam en misschien andere dingen. Huh. Heb jij nog oh, andere kinderen? Ja, ik heb er nog eentje. Die gaat niet naar de kers. Uh -huh. Een zoontje of een dochtertje? Een dochtertje, Leila. Oh, en waarom gaat zij niet naar de kers? Mijn ouders wonen dichtbij. Leila gaat twee dagen per week naar mijn ouders. Uh -huh. Dat is goedkoper dan de kinderen. Uh -huh. Ik werk nu maar twee dagen per week. Per week. Dus dit is nu het beste. Uh -huh. En mijn ouders, ja... I think I got that. Okay. Oops, one thing. So, uh, it's been good. That's good. What have you been up to? Frachin, who fell kinder in haved case? I was going to say, he says he has only one, actually. He says, I think he says, ik heb 
I have needs under kinder. I have under kinder neat or something. Elaine, blah 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 blah, whatever the name was. Hi, heeft een kind. So you say antwoord B, and then vraag twee. <coughs> vraag twee. Waarom gaat Lila niet naar de crash? Uh, Antwoord A. Uh, the crash uh, is echter. Like she basically uh, says that her Lila doesn't go to the nursery because her, her, her parents are taking care of the grandchild. Okay. And it's also, it's also cheaper. Uh, <laughs> Vraag um. 3. Who felt kinderen heeft Karen? Um, she has two. Antwoord A. Zij heeft twee kinderen. Okay. Next video. Open oh, I should check on my Ravenfall character quickly. It's taking forever to do the crafting because uh, Ravenfall keeps crashing mm. on me. Um, anybody need any equipment or supplies? Stop. Let me know. That's my Ravenfall character. Okay, text three. Hank and okay. Ingrid. Okay, two, two colleagues. Okay, vraag één. Hoeveel broers heeft Hank? Vraag twee. Komen er veel mensen naar de begra begrafenis? Okay. Oh. Begrafenis, I think, is a burial. Vraag drie. Who out is the oma van Hank geworden? How old is... Oh, is she going? How old is she going to be? Was she going to be? Huh. Yeah, listen to this. Oops. Okay. <coughs> okay, so how many brothers does he have? Okay, I gotta listen to this again. Sorry? And I will make it in a 
What? You don't have to? I'm gonna take a break and just do it myself. Well, I'll get your own water. Okay. Is he saying? Okay, I'm dropping this one. Does he have, or is that the? <coughs> Broers heeft Henk. <coughs> and I say, ah, that is neat data. Like, he doesn't really say how many siblings he has. Vraag 2. Komen er veel mensen naar de begrafenis? The begrafenis is a burial or um, a funeral. Is it more the burial part or is it the actual funeral? I almost forgot the word in English. Yeah, it's both funeral and burial. <coughs> um, Antwort A. Ja, er komen meer dan 200 mensen. Vraag 3. Hoe oud is de oma van Hank geworden? Um, Antwort B. Zij is 104 jaar geworden. So she was, she was 100 years, 104 years old. I think this is, Google Translate is not translating this properly. Zai is, well maybe it will now. She turned 104 years old. Yeah, okay. <coughs> okay, that was the listening exercises. Now I'm going to work on the grammar stuff. this one anymore. Alright, that was all the listening exercises. I will double check my answers afterwards. They. Matika and Sraven. Right. So, they're giving me the verb slapping. To sleep. Ik slap, jij slaapt, slap jij, hij slaapt, zij slaapt, wij slapen, jullie slapen, zij slapen, wonen, ik woon, jij woont, woon jij, hij woont, zij woont, wij wonen, jullie wonen, en zij wonen. Alright, so now they want me to write down the conjugations for the following six verbs. Six verbs, now I got six verbs, alright. Easy enough, easy peasy.
I don't really have problems with the conjugations. I like conjugating sometimes. Sometimes I don't know. I like patterns. It's a thing. Ik spreek. Yeah. Spreek. Spreek. Yeah. Hi. Spreek. Zij. Spreek. Wij. Spreken. Jullie. Spreken. Zij. Spreken. Next verb. <coughs> Leren. Ik leer, jij leert, leer jij, hij leert, zij leert, wij leren. This isn't really not how I do my, um, do my Anki verb deck, but this is what they want me to type. Jullie leren, zij leren. Next. Lopen. Ik loop. Jij loopt. Loop. Jij. Hij loopt. Zij loopt. Wij lopen. Jullie lopen. Zij lopen. I'm pretty sure these are right because I do know these words. <laughs> Sturen. <coughs> Ik stuur. I really think I need to just do what I need to, what they do in real time and just break my hair. <laughs> jij stuurt. Stuur jij. Hij stuurt. Zij stuurt. Wij stuurden. Jullie stuurden. Zij sturen. Next. Uh, kopen. 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 Next. Ik koop. Jij koop. <laughs> Koopt. Koop. Jij. Hij koop. Zij. Oh ja, I, I, I miss spelling things, people. Zij koopt. Oops. Wij kopen. Jullie kopen. Zij kopen. Right. Dragen. Dragen. Ik draag. Jij. Jij. Draag. Draag. Jij. Hij. Draag. Zij. Draagt. Wij dragen. Jullie dragen. Zij dragen. <coughs> Alright. Oké. Okay. Luister naar alle goede zinnen op. Oké. Okay. I have to listen to the sentences over here. Grammatica 3. Probably. Yeah, three. Okay, I have to just, I don't have to type the sentences, I just have to repeat them. Or do I, or should I type the sentences? I don't remember if they're in the back. Is that what's in the back of the book? I'm in lesson three, actually. Uh, I think I bookmarked that in case I wanted to read the text for the video. Yeah, I can do that later. Um, three. So for this... No, I just have to repeat the sentences. I don't have to type them out. They just wanted me to type out the verb, though. Which is at the back of the book. Which is in the back of the book, so they have the verb in the back of the book. That's fine. Okay. <coughs> so, for this one, I just have to listen and repeat these. Oh, is that loud? Ik 
Vraagtekst. Oefening 1. Luister naar het goede antwoord. Zeg het goede antwoord precies na. Actually, maybe it's just loud for me. Hold on. Maybe it's fine on stream. Alright. Spreken. Ik spreek. Oh, this is easy. Spreken. Ik spreek. Maybe I should slow it down so I can actually say the answers without pausing. Spreken. Ik spreek. Jij spreekt. Jij spreekt. Spreek jij? Spreek jij? Hij spreekt. Hij spreekt. Zij spreekt. Zij spreekt. Wij spreken. Wij spreken. Jullie spreken. Jullie spreken. Zij spreken. Zij spreken. I just read this all out loud. Leren. Ik leer. Leren. Ik leer. Jij leert. Jij leert. Leer jij? Leer jij. Hij leert. Hij leert. Zij leert. Zij leert. Wij leren. Wij leren. Jullie leren. Jullie leren. Zij leren. Zij leren. Lopen. Lopen. Ik loop. Ik loop. Jij loopt. Jij loopt. Loop jij? Loop jij? Hij loopt. Hij loopt. Zij loopt. Zij loopt. Wij lopen. Wij lopen. Jullie lopen. Jullie lopen. Zij lopen. Zij lopen. Sturen. Sturen. Ik stuur. Ik stuur. Jij stuurt. Jij stuurt. Stuur jij? Stuur jij? Hij stuurt. Hij stuurt. Zij stuurt. Zij stuurt. Wij sturen. Wij sturen. Jullie sturen. Jullie sturen. Zij sturen. Zij sturen. Kopen. Kopen. Ik koop. Ik koop. Jij koopt. Jij koopt. Koop jij? Koop jij? Hij koopt. Hij koopt. Zij koopt. Zij koopt. Wij kopen. Wij koken. Jullie kopen. Jullie koken. Zij kopen. Sorry. Dragen. Wait, wait, wait. Did I switch the verb? I switched the verb. I'm sorry, people. I'm tired. He's, it's kopen. Ik koop. Ik koop. Jij koopt. Jij koopt. Koop jij? Koop jij. Hij koopt. Hij koopt. Zij koopt. Zij koopt. Wij kopen. Wij kopen. Jullie kopen. Jullie kopen. Zij kopen. Zij kopen. Dragen. Dragen. Ik draag. Ik draag. Jij draagt. Jij draagt. Draag jij? Draag jij. Hij draagt. Hij draagt. Zij draagt. Zij draagt. Wij dragen. Wij dragen. Jullie dragen. Jullie dragen. Zij dragen. Zij dragen. All right. Next exercise two. Uh, complete these sentences with the correct form of the verb. Right. All right. I'm just gonna type it out. So let's do this. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hi. I really, I don't want it to do that. This one I don't want it to do. Hi, stelt, and book out the task to um, why wonen in in flat three met the spreek ik vier. Uh, do kinderen slapen in the auto? Five. Do consistent port do docent need good says loop and Maria loop up strat zeven. Put the period. Seven. Um, mine own start and up ya nar mine tanta. Acht. Opa and oma open in klein house. Neche. Mine drar draagt in korte. Group. Team. Uh, I guess maybe the other one is a bit better. Oh well, we'll fix it next time. Team. Yai lit to later monster tell. 
11. My daughter hurt in camera. 2. Up. So. Frag je iets aan de leraar is. Next. That was that one. Oh, actually. Uh, right. Correct answers you find at the back of the book, but you can. Oh, yeah. Now we listen. Now we listen to the, those sentences and say them out loud, and I just did that. <laughs> Oefening 2. Luister naar het goede antwoord. Zeg het goede antwoord precies na. 1. Hij steelt een boek uit de tas. Hij steelt een boek uit de tas. 2. Wij wonen in een flat. Wij wonen in een flat. 3. Met wie spreek ik? Met wie spreek ik? 4. De kinderen slapen in de auto. De kinderen slapen in de auto. 5. De cursisten horen de docent niet goed. De cursisten horen de docent niet goed. 6. Maria loopt op straat. Maria loopt op straat. 7. Mijn oom stuurt een sms naar mijn tante. They change that. Mijn oom stuurt een sms naar mijn tante. They put an apje in the text. 8. Opa en oma kopen een klein huis. Opa en oma kopen een klein huis. 9. Mijn broer draagt een korte broek. Mijn broer draagt een korte broek. 10. Jij leert de Nederlandse taal. Jij leert de Nederlandse taal. 11. Mijn dochter huurt een kamer. Mijn dochter huurt een kamer. 12. Op school vraag je iets aan de lerares. Op school vraag je iets op de lerares. Oefening 3. Oké. Okay. Oefening 3. <laughs> Zet de woorden, zet de woorden in de goede volgorde. Oké, okay, ja. Yeah. So put these, uh, put these words in the right word order. Put the verb in the correct form. Start with the, start with the subject, met de persoon. Oké, okay, that's easy. Uh, aim. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, mine elders. Lopen elke week naar de bioscoop. Twee. Uh, de kinderen wonen in het huis van opa en oma. Drie. You know, they're gonna make me say this when I listen to the audio anyways. <laughs> Yeah, three and four, they're going to make me listen to them anyways and say them. Uh, my Zeus. My Zeus. Where am I? My Zeus. Slapped in the town. Fear. Uh, hi. Sprite. Met to near a rest in head. Okay, My father stirred. Oh, ik. <laughs> they tried to trick me. Ik stirred a brief. Ik stirred. Uh -huh. My father a brief. Says. To learning, fracht iets on to learn. Seven, seven. Zij stelt het book 
out to the task. Ah. I om and tanta heren and kleiner morning. Nechen. Mein Oma hart nicht hood. Teen. Heinbucken. My klein kinderen. My klein kinderen. Open Hain Token Elf Mine Mutter Zracht in Royal Hood Twelve My Nave Lert to Uffening Neat Hood all right, and then the next one. I'm just going to do the next one because then I'll just listen to them back to back. Ain. Uh, oh, complete the sentences. Oh, this is the no another one. Complete the sentences, just whatever. Okay, so you know what? I will listen to these first. Luister naar het goede antwoord. Zeg het goede antwoord precies na. 1. Mijn ouders lopen elke week naar de bioscoop. Mijn ouders lopen elke week naar de bioscoop. 2. De kinderen wonen in het huis van opa en oma. De kinderen wonen in het huis van oma, opa en oma. 3. Mijn zus slaapt in de tuin. Mijn zus slaapt in de tuin. 4. Hij spreekt met de lerares in het lokaal. Hij spreekt met de lerares in het lokaal. 5. Ik stuur mijn vader een brief. Ik stuur mijn vader een brief. 6. De leerling vraagt iets aan de leraar. De leerling vraagt iets aan de leraar. 7. Zij steelt het boek uit de tas. Zij steelt het boek uit de tas. Acht. Oh, I misspelled that actually. I thought so. Hi, stilt. <laughs> Mijn oom en tante huren een kleine woning. Mijn oom en tante huren een kleine Negen. woning. Mijn oma hoort niet goed. Mijn oma hoort niet goed. 10. Mijn kleinkinderen kopen geen boeken. Mijn kleinkinderen kopen geen boeken. 11. Mijn moeder draagt een mooie hoed. Mijn moeder draagt een mooie hoed. 12. Mijn neef leert de oefening niet goed. Mijn neef leert de oefening niet goed. Oefening 4. Oké, nou, we gaan continue. Exercise 4. Oké, okay. exercise 4. Mijn familie. <laughs> So finish this. Use five or six words in the sentences. Mein findet mili won't eat in Netherlands. Twee. Won't eat in Netherlands. Twee. Father and doctor. Okay, they, they like to give this one. Father and doctor lazen book. Uh huh. Three. A het gezin het gezin woont in een groot house. Ver. Uh, de school uh, ligt op dicht bij het park. De school ligt dicht bij het park. Vijf. De 
Poodlers. Um, the Poodlers. Spelling. Football. Salmon. Zess. My knife. My knife. Um, and then my um, built ice, yes, eight. Right, this one wants to eat ice cream. Zaven. Um, line alders. Um, no longer work. Okay. Uh, line alders. Just make up a sentence. My elders. Well, la, la, la. <laughs> uh, it has to be like five or six words in the sentence. Okay, what? Whatever. Coleman, out. Sheena. Eight. Acht. De Klein. Kinder and how did fun Opa and Oma the clan Kinder and how did at this upper zook fun how did fun I always say they like visiting. How do I use the opposuk and opposite? Kinder and Powden and Up. Not sure how to actually say this properly. Um, Opa and Oma Up. I don't even know. If I don't know if that's correct. I'm trying. I could just say Haldivan. I want to say the grandchildren like love visiting their grandparents. Mm. Maybe it's just opposite.
Okay, maybe this not okay. Nathan. Uh my mother. Spreekt V talen 10. Mijn oom, my uncle. I don't know, I don't know my uncle. <laughs> my oom. What can I say about my uncle? I don't know. I don't. I don't really know my uncle. Dave. Dave. Three. Kinderen. Eleven. Ik. Jeez, Nate. Why is this even an exercise? They're like, complete the sentences and they give you ick. They might as well just tell you to write an essay. It's like completely op so open ended, there's no point. The letters um, stand for the class. <laughs> Alright, let's see what example sentences are giving me. Luister naar het goede antwoord. Zeg het goede antwoord precies na. 1. Mijn familie woont in een flat. Mijn familie woont in een flat. 2. Vader en dochter lopen naar school. Vader en dochter lopen naar school. So, this is really loud. Why is this so loud? Drie. Het gezin eet in de tuin. Het gezin eet in de tuin. Vier. De school heeft veel lokalen. De school heeft veel lokalen. Vijf. De broers maken de oefening. De broers maken de oefening. Zes. Mijn neef is de directeur. Mijn neef is de directeur. Zeven. Mijn ouders spreken geen Nederlands. Mijn ouders spreken geen Nederlands. Acht. De kleinkinderen gaan naar huis. De kleinkinderen gaan naar huis. 9. Mijn moeder draagt een broek. Mijn moeder draagt een broek. 10. Mijn oom stuurt een sms. Mijn oom stuurt een sms. 11. Ik koop een nieuwe tas. Ik koop een nieuwe tas. 12. De lerares schrijft op het bord. De lerares schrijft op het bord. Dit was les 3. Oké, okay, dat was dat. All right. And that's done. And then in section E, uh, slide and email. And they're telling me we can't do these right now. So uh, do it later. <laughs> do it later. All right. Those, I swear I could probably do the emails, but I don't know. I don't know why they're telling us to do the email stuff later, Nate. They probably will show you examples of what they should look like later. I don't know. I haven't done that yet. 
I guess because it's supposed to be A2, A2, um, A2 module 2, that's why. No, they don't really show you what it's supposed to look like at all. Or, oh, actually, I guess they do. Because you have to fill out the text fields as well. I mean, I understand that, but at the same time, it's not... Maybe they're just like, oh, we have to explain how to, like, adjust people in email. No, not that part. The, the to and from and subject fields. Like we don't like, you know, we speak English and we don't know what an email address looks like. The first one was Ukhat for Hausen Usraif an email Naru Mudur Um Usraif Har Nar Valkastar Ukhat for Hausen and Vonir Ukhat for Hausen Sraif Okvaram Ukhat for Hausen Samahadingin Mut Uzel Prisinin. Yeah, because it looks like they don't want you to do this in the A2 module 1, they want you to do it in module 2. Okay. Which means that the workload in module 2 is going to be a lot higher. Next. Oh, these formulas, these forms. I'm not doing these online. This I'm also going to do later. Yeah. Stem bone undersook. What's a stem bone? Oh, family tree. <laughs> stem bone is a family tree. Right? So, they, okay, in the tech, in this book, in this book, there's a family tree. There's no, well, there's no family tree. But in this book, they're saying, so it's this book here I'm working through. Formulaire Stambon Undersuk. Okay, so you have to fill out, yeah, your information, your first name, your family name, your birth date, date of birth, your birthplace, place of birth, uh, Information about your children, zone or circle zone of doctor. Yeah, I'm gonna come in a little bit and get food. What are you showing me? Um, okay, good job. Ich bin albatross up, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. It's, uh, you look like, oh, come, come and get food. No, this was look, I made something nice and you like. I did want some more mashed potatoes. Uh, information about your children if you have a son and daughter so you want to fill out their first name last name birth date place of birth basically the same thing as as your information uh-huh and then information about your parents first name last name birth date birthplace for the father and the mother and <coughs> Indicate, uh, indeed, upon two passing. I've seen this on forums already because you know, it, this is like, um, if a pro it, in case, yeah, if applicable, it's like if appropriate, if applicable. So, <coughs> so yeah, you fill this section out if they already died, um, the date of death. <laughs> And 
related to is probably over related to yeah, and what oh and where did they die the circle but for well, two passing is what where is that there <laughs> I know what that means Circle whichever applies. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh, that was first zone of doctor. So you circle which one applies. I figured that out already without. <laughs> <laughs> I guess some people might strike out the one that doesn't apply, but they want you to circle the one that does that works. So, so information about your children, son or daughter. Just circle son or daughter, whichever one you have, and then. Information about your grandparents, Kroth elders. Okay, so then you fill out the same information for your paternal grandfather, Opa, Fond, Father, Zida, uh huh? First name, last name, date of birth, birthplace. And then your paternal grandmother, your mother of your dad, Oma, Fond, Father, Zida. Yeah, this is really easy. This form is easy to fill out if I if I knew what information I could put in. <laughs> so I'm not going to put all in all my information. Yeah, indicate if applicable. If they died, indicate their date of death and where they died. Okay, and then also, yes, your maternal grandfather, maternal grandmother, which would be your mom's parents. Same thing. Yeah, these forms are easy to fill out, honestly. Like, I don't see the point of me typing it out, Nate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially since they don't give me, like... They really should just give you, like... Information to fill in, instead of making it up yourself. You know? Yeah. They should just be like, Oh, here's a, here's a sample family. Fill in this information for the family tree. That's yeah. what they really should do. Because the first one was hilarious. I'm like, I ain't doxing myself on stream. <laughs> the first one was... <laughs> was that the first one? Yeah, the first one was housing exchange. So fill up my current address and postcode. Uh, yeah, I ain't doxing myself. All right. <laughs> so we know how to fill, fill out a form. I'm pretty confident I can fill out a form. Okay. G. Now, Sprechfaderheit. Almost done. And I am going to cap the stream. Oh, it'll be three hours. These lessons are taking like three hours to do. <laughs> I mean, if I don't get too distracted, I could probably do them faster. But I don't like recording it. Okay, last in our audio. Okay, yeah, we got to listen to the speech ones. This one, three... And let me see. Write your answers. Okay, listen to the audio. Give the answers with a complete sentence. Okay. And write it in your notebook. Okay, so, um, I don't want to play back speed at that. Okay, let's three. Les 3, de familie. Oh, come on. Geef antwoord op de vraag met een complete Hoe heet de moeder? They want my mom's name. I'm gonna make up something. <laughs> Voorbeeld. Waar slaap jij? Antwoord. Ik slaap in een bed. 1. Hoe heet uw moeder? They don't say that I have to say the answer out loud, just write it. You can put my name in it. No. I'm just making up something. When would I hate more hate? <laughs> what was her actual last name? Can't remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? 
Dama Dread. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna name characters from like Wheel of Time or The Expanse <laughs> on our on, like on our actual exams. <laughs> Randall Thor. Hera and I bear. <laughs> Egwene Alvear. Twee. Wat leert u op school? Why is this one quiet? This one's quieter than it was before. <clears throat> what leer je op school? I don't go to school. Okay, let's just pretend. What am I learning? What do I learn? <laughs> what am I learning at school? <laughs> okay, um, I'm making up stuff. Okay. <laughs> Drie. Waar slaapt u meestal? Ik. Slap meestal in the slap camera. <laughs> there. Like. Vier. Die loopt op de straat. Who's walking on the street? Seriously? <laughs> um. <laughs> they asked me who's walking on the street. I don't know. Waar wonen uw ouders? Waar wonen uw ouders? Aha. Uh -huh. Mijn ouders wonen in. Oh, what's two rivers called in Dutch? Was it twee rivers? Twee 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 or something? Because <laughs> there's supposed to be two rivers. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Zes. Met wie spreekt de leraar? Met wie uh, de leraar spreekt met. <laughs> Zeven. Waar koopt u dit boek? En waar koopt u dit boek? Um, ik koop dit boek. Um, Uh, is it fun or buy? Uh, Acht. Acht. Wat draagt de vrouw op haar hoofd? De vrouw. Draag een mooie hood. Negen. Wie stuurt deze e-mail? <coughs> This is a Ravenfall dungeon. Uh, who's, who sends this e-mail? Who sends this e-mail? Who's sending this email? Okay. To learning start Daisy email. Team.
10. Aan wie vraagt de student iets? De student vraagt iets aan de leerares. Elf. Elf. Wat hoort u? Ik hoor een hond lachend. <laughs> maar actually, nee, het is kind of funny too, because I can type sentences that are a bit of advanced grammar. Uh -huh. Ik hoor. Except I made a mistake there. Because that part is just quite, quite like English. <coughs> what? You can butcher them, okay. 12. Wie huren deze kleine woning? Um. Ik. <laughs> Ik weet. <laughs> Hurt. Deze kleine woning. <laughs> They have a lot of names in that, in that show, in the story, so I'm going to use their names. <laughs> 13. Who heet uw vader? My father hates <laughs> None of this makes sense. <laughs> Veertien. Wat steelt de man uit de tas? <coughs> steelt. That, that's pretty much stealing. De man steelt. Held uit de tas. <coughs> Les vier. Het formuleer. And the I believe we are done. <coughs> Kijk deze oefening na. Goede antwoorden vindt u achter in het boek. Oké. Okay. I'm gonna check all my answers now. <laughs> It's all of it. Oké. Okay. So time to check all my answers. Next time, oh, lesson four, four. So that means there's ten more in this to do because I have to do thirteen. My God, there's a hundred and thirteen new words in the next one. I wonder if these are all going to be the same. I'll look at it afterwards. Alright. <coughs> Les 3, the family. Les Farhad, C A A, B C B, D A B, A B. Oh, I should do my Duolingo before I, I finish my stream though. A D B. B -A -A -A. Yeah, they tried to trick me with the reading comprehension questions, but I got all of them right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the verbs are right. <laughs> Yeah, and I misspelled that. High stilt. And book up the task. My morning in a flat. 
mit B Spreek Eck. Die Kinder schlafen in der Auto. Die Kursisten Horst, das sind nicht gut, Maria Lautokstra. Mein Ohm, Sert, in Apia, no, 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 Also, vraag je iets aan de lerares. <coughs> And I mistyped, I typed this one. That's this. Yeah, and these were open-ended questions, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exercise four, I don't understand. You know, they're like, just complete the sentences and then listen to it. And I'm like, but then, I listen to it. It's like, do you want me to listen to it and type the answers, or do you want me just to type whatever? supposed to type that in. Oh, 14, I did exactly what they wanted. All right, that's all done. All right, <coughs> Duolingo time. Duolingo. It was basic, new Benik here up new. Just in time for Duolingo, Mike. The what a timing. <laughs> Food too.
Why is that like that? We maken een lekkere salade. We maken. We maken een lekkere salade. We maken een lekkere. Lekkere. <laughs> we maken een lekkere salade. Lekkere salade. Eten twee. Ha? Huh? Kook je met boter of met olie? Kook je ja. met kook je. Ja. Kook, kook. Why? I, I can't hear the difference between their coke and coke sometimes. Nate? Mm -hmm. It's like, do they not know how to pronounce a P and a K? Mm -hmm. <laughs> coke, coke. Coke, coke. I swear they do their P's, T's, and K's like in Cantonese. Yeah. They don't fully pronounce it. Kook je met boter of met olie? Boter. Beide. <laughs> to foto. Er zitten tomaten in de salade. Er zitten tomaten in de salade. Er zitten tomaten in de salade. Zitten? Er, er zitten tomaten in de salade. <coughs> Wortels zijn meestal oranje. Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. Wat? Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. Oh, I typed something wrong. <coughs> Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een bestelt. salade. I thought this was weird. De boon is bruin. De boon is bruin. Oh, she is saying bone. Damn you. Hallo, ik wil een worst. Ik wil een worst. Oh, hallo, ik wil een worst. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> ik heb 25 aardappelen gekookt. Why? But... <laughs> Ik heb 25 aardappelen gekookt. 25 potatoes. Gekookt. Oh my god, I can't hear the difference. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dutch. Hello, new friends of tea. People joking about German words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh huh. Well, at least the Dutch spells it right. Gekookt, gekookt. Gekookt, gekookt. Gekookt, gekookt. The mannen eten kaas en borst. De paarse frisdrank is lekker. De paarse frisdrank is lekker. Oh, hallo. <laughs> There was an error displaying chat. Try again. Wait, what, Mike? <coughs> <coughs> What? 
Hallo PMA. Ik ga naar de boerderij om boter en kaas te kopen. I'm going to the farm to buy cheese. And Ik ga naar de boerderij om boter en kaas te kopen. To buy butter and cheese. I'm going to the farm to buy butter and cheese. It died. <coughs> Chat died on you? I'm sorry. Twitch has been weird lately. I've had that happen to me. Wij maken soep met wortels. Maken soep met wortels. Waarom eten ze witte bonen als ontbijt? Waarom eten? So, PMA, what do you want to be called? <laughs> Waarom eten ze witte bonen als ontbijt? <laughs> Waarom eten ze <coughs> witte bonen? Bonen. Als ontbijt. Waarom eten ze witte bonen als ontbijt? I hear ze. If you give me za, I'm going to get mad. Waarom eten ze? Ja. <coughs> Wat voor frisdrank hebben jullie? Wat voor fris? Drank. Heb, hebben. Er, ja, 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 ja. Type. <laughs> ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. Ze eet. Ze eet? Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. She eats. Aardbeien? Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. Aardbeien? Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. I can't tell if you're saying aardbeien or aardbeien. Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. She eats strawberries with whipped with whipped cream. Is it whipped cream? <coughs> whipping cream, whipped cream, whipped cream. Uh, aardbeien. Whip, uh, huh? Pretty sure whipping cream is the cream before it has been whipped. <laughs> What? <coughs> Slagroom. They want whipped cream. I think. It's called whipped cream. Yeah, whipped has been whipped. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's called whipped cream. Where we never called it whipped cream in Canada. It takes too long. <laughs> I need to find an image of a product from Canada. <coughs> Maybe everyone just says it wrong. Nate? Yeah. Whipped cream? Oh, they, because they call it whipped cream without the past tense? Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. It is past tense whipped cream. I thought maybe I heard it a few times as whipped cream, but then most people just say whipped cream. Because they say it so fast, I think yeah. most people didn't realize it. <laughs> yeah. We eat a great hoeveelheid bonen. We eten een grote hoeveelheid bonen. We eten een grote hoeveelheid bonen. We eten een grote hoeveelheid bonen. Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. Wanneer we uit eten gaan, bestelt mijn moeder een salade. De boon is bruin. Ik heb 25 aardappelen gekookt. I swear, 
<laughs> gekookt, gekocht. Gekookt, gekocht. Ik heb 25 aardappelen gekookt. <laughs> That's what Nick did today. <laughs> Hey Gia! Is that good afternoon in German or Danish? Good evening. Good often. Good often. Good often. Good often. Good often. Good often. <laughs> I am probably gonna end the stream soon because I'm very tired. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I need to take a break and I need to eat, so I think I might do that. Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. Ze eet aardbeien met slagroom. Upside down. this no that's not right I don't know I, can't, I forget how to say upside down in Dutch ze eet aardbeien met slagroom she eats strawberries with yes whipped cream Okay. God Kvel, God God Kvel, on the on the side down. It's a great song by Jack Johnson. Not sure what Dutch and Danish she's from. I have no idea either. I guess it's just a Germanic thing. Yeah, I'm downside down. <laughs> I'd rather not beat it right here. Sorry. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, we do things like Kudanavon. Finally, I'm done. Actually, fine. I'm gonna take a break and maybe I'll come back and do some more studying. But I'm gonna put words on stream and I'm gonna mute my mic and turn off my camera so I can go eat and do some stuff. But I'll be lurking my own chat, okay? <laughs> Shop. Don't need to buy anything. What What is new? What, people have been doing a good job. You guys have been doing. Okay, yeah, high five. Good job. Hey, Andy. Good job. It's been albatross up, Yuli. <laughs> I'm proud of all of you. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, okay, you know what? How about I do that? I put words on stream on, and then I'll come back and try to do some A1 Dutch. Because I just did A2. That's what I think. I don't know. Until I get really tired and just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Thing is, I already know that I'm like I'm tired, but if I try to go to sleep, my brain's not gonna let me go to sleep until I get through all of this. <laughs> or most of it. I'm so paranoid that I won't have time. To like review this stuff before before the course starts in February. <laughs> That's the problem.
All right, words on stream for everyone. There you go. Yeah, I should put chat on. Let's see if I get a word. I got the word! Yay. Okay, I'm taking a break. I'll be right back, everyone.
Thank you. 
Hello, I'm back. So I finished cheating finally. <laughs> but no camera right now because it's late and I'm getting tired. Thanks for playing, everyone. Words on stream. Um, I am going to go back to doing some studying. Studying, review, really just review and practice for the most part. Alright, but I'm doing, yeah, I'm back to A1 review, I'm going to do some A1 review, I think. Let's do that, something like that. A1 re Dutch review, okay? Okay. My poor brain. Um, can you open this? Right here. I need a uh, basis in Bahrain. Open that. Thank you. That's what I want. Um, I don't want this. Do I want to do this right now? I'm just going to try and do 24 to 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 8, trying to get through the next 5. I don't know. I'm going to just do 24. Oh, more material. Okay, and this one, I don't need this one right now. Hold on. Uh, I need the H, A2, not the A2, I need the A1. That's what I need. Alright, so I'm going to be reading from this book. Enjoy the lurk tape. My Ravenfall didn't crash on me. It should be working still. Ravenfall? Your Ravenfall's still working. Let me drink some more water. I'm going to try and do lesson 24 and then. Probably get to sleep after that. Alright, my lesson 24. Ooh, fun stuff. Lesson 24. The Netherlands so culture. Right. Actually, had to cut the the pan and cooked. Um, no, maybe I didn't. Let's do this. I need to go to my Anki. Now we're on this one, right? I'm gonna add this one to culture. That's already there. Rembrandt. Really, they want us to, they want us to remember Rembrandt's name. I mean, Rembrandt is Rembrandt. Seriously. 
Nate, did you like that they wanted us to like write down the name Rembrandt? Sorry, good night. Koningsdag. We know what Koningsdag is. We all do know what Koningsdag is. Do I not have it? I, don't, I didn't add it in here already. Probably not, but I can. I know what it is. I live in the Netherlands. <laughs> it's literally King's Day. Yeah, I didn't add it. Fine, I'll add it just for the hell of it. But I don't think I need to add Rembrandt. He's an artist. A Dutch artist. Koning's dog. King's day. Uh, new Year's dog. New Year's. New Year's day. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And Christmas. It's there. Elf. Staden Tocht. That's, um, that's a skiing, uh, sorry, a skating event. Elf Staden Tocht. Um, <coughs> a skating event. <coughs> through 11 Dutch cities. Gokenhof, Gokenhof is, yeah, I've been there. I don't know why they're not giving me <coughs> the coding I look these up actually. Um, Elfs, Staden, Tocht. <clears throat> on Wikipedia. It's a dull word. <laughs> okay, let's do it this way. Coding stock. Welcome back. Welcome to the Danish phonology. Is hard. It is a bit hard. I find it kind of like tricky. <laughs> okay, well, I'm trying to decide if I want to put this here. I will. Oh, it is there. Oh, it's already here. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, so I'll need to add that again. But then, you know, I gotta do this this way then. Let's go back to my Anki. Let's search in this deck. Um, yeah, I know who Rembrandt is. <laughs> uh, Center class is there already. Anki, yeah, it's Anki. Can you guys see everything? Yeah, I think you can see the Anki. It's just a little off center. <clears throat> I'm tired. What am I doing up? I'm tired. Oh, it's already there. I, I didn't capitalize it. it. It's capitalized, apparently. All right, Christmas. <clears throat> I've always wanted to celebrate Santa Claus. Santa Claus is just, I don't know, what am I doing, huh? So many, there are so many rules about stress and unstress, even with pronouns. Uh, in Danish, are you doing your Danish exercises? 
I did my Duolingo today. I'm not, not going to do any more right now because I get I want to get through this stuff. I'm so determined to finish this A1 stuff right now. <clears throat> Goken, Hoth. Okay. Okay. The Karas Boom. That's the Christmas tree. Okay, I think those are all the names. Okay, good. Center Claus. Center Claus is just really is like a Santa Claus parade, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's already there. The Kerstbaum. The Hachelslach. The Apple Tart. See, we're learning about Dutch culture this time. Feriadach. The Kring. Oh god, the Dutch circle. The Kring. Stamp Pot. The Pan and cook. Well, with Santa Claus, I think Santa Claus here. They basically Santa Claus arrives in like end of November, beginning of December, and the Dutch do their Christmas their Christmas gift giving on December fifth. Don't ask me why. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up again to look up why. <coughs> uh, Oh, that actually is in there. The drop. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have another. I think I need to have another cough drop. Oh, is there a rainbow ball raid? I can't spell Dutch without. Uh huh, of course not. Such is Dutch. I guess it's the day of St. Nicholas. It's basically that. It's basically the day of St. Nicholas, Santa Claus. <coughs> Every saint got a day, so you know what to name your kid. What? <coughs> After the saint? Christkind? Oh, good lord. <laughs> I actually knew somebody was born on Christmas. They weren't happy about it. <laughs> okay, sorry. His birthday was on Christmas. He wasn't happy about his birthday being on Christmas. It was amusing, though. I wasn't born on Christmas. I was born on UN Day. Wait, what's UN Day? When is UN Day? Find that an amazing coincidence. It is. It's kind of amusing. Who is PewDiePie's birthday? <laughs> Unfortunate coincidence. All right. Tutorial <laughs> October twenty fourth. Ah, I see. I see. UN Day is the twenty fourth. I did not know that. Or maybe I did and forgot. Oops. Let's go back to this. I don't need this thing. Hmm. I see that my inventory is going to fill up with the black gear. Okay. That's done. <coughs> Let me see. Something says, Drop is svart, op koningsdag heeft iedereen vrij. 
in its foyer, Hanfeld, Toristin, nor Kokenhof, Zeisin in the Kokenhof, Fell, Hell, Blumen, Narcissen, I move this, Narcissen sign, Hell, Hella Blumen, Up 5 December, Haft, Sinterklaas, Idrain, Kadotjas, Rembrandt was a Netherlands schilder met Kerstmis, having veel Nederlanders and Kerstboom in the woonkamer. Short questions. <coughs> Wanneer hebben Nederlanders en Boom in the boom in the woonkamer? I almost said Boomkamer. Well, because isn't the Hog in the Netherlands Den Haag? Yes, it is. It's like an important city for the UN, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll try to almost in the Bosnian War. Um, yes, the, the ICC is there, and International Criminal Court is there. Can go with my black sword? No. <laughs> There's better equipment in Ravenfell. Where can Nederlanders up calling a star? Welke kleur heeft drop? Welke kleur hebben Narcissen? Op welke datum geef Sinterklaas cadeautjes? Wat zien, wat zien de toeristen in de Kokenhof? Wanneer gaan de toeristen naar de Kokenhof? In het voorjaar of in het najaar? Deze molen is modern. Deze molen is ouderwets. Op nieuwjaarsdag is iedereen vrij. Let me just put this away. Brood met hagelslag is lekker. De meeste kinderen vinden pannenkoeken lekker. Zij maakt een lekkere appeltaart. Stamppot is typisch Nederlands. Aardappelen met groente. Op een verjaardagsfeest zitten mensen in een kring. De elfstedentocht gaat langs elf steden in Friesland. Alright. <coughs> If we already have hit for yar in here and hits not yar. Haven Naaman Naaman to take Sehr lecker. Do they actually say that in German? I don't know. I like naming. Yeah, it's a take. <laughs> so, 2019, December 2019, Nate and I went to Dusseldorf to visit Christmas markets in Germany. It was really fun. And then we were like, maybe we'll hear some German there. And I'm like thinking, mm -hmm. let's, let's see if we can hear, we'll hear some German or not. We heard some German, but then we realized we were just hearing a hell of a lot more Dutch in Dusseldorf during the Christmas market. During the Christmas market. Because apparently all the Dutch on the border between the Netherlands and Germany just go over there for the Christmas markets. They have a big Japanese community. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know if they did. Well, all the Dutch people... Yeah, they do, apparently. <coughs> it's not a very long train ride, either. So. Oh, okay. Now we can do the exercises. Lees <sighs> Vaardigheid A1. <clears throat> okay, I'm doing my best to try and not cough all over everyone. All over everything right now. Maybe I use big in the broadest sense, huh? I wonder how the Danish German border is. No passports, no border patrol. I have no idea. Alright. <coughs> Let's read these short stories. Um. Nederlanders. 
I don't have a cough drop in my mouth and now I have to read a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if there's a city there though. Consider it tongue conditioning, my cough drop. Yeah, I think because there's so much reading and speaking practice with this stuff that I'm going through, I think I'm using my voice a lot more than I know than I normally do when I stream. <laughs> Nederlanders, Nederlanders have been. Speciale Nederlandse Dinge. They have special Dutch things. That's what it says. Ze eten veel aardappels. Ze veren op 5 December Sinterklaas. En dan geven ze elkaar cadeautjes. En als het heel koud wordt, gaan ze schatzen op ijs. Op Koningsdag gaan ze op straat oude dingen kopen en verkopen. That is true. Actually, they have the, um, for King's Day, Koningsdag, they have the, like, free markets. Where basically, basically everywhere is a free market. People can just sell all their stuff. Or whatever they want to sell on the street. <coughs> With no taxing. It's like it. It's like the country turns into a giant. I don't know what in states if you call it a garage sale, yard sale, or something. Netherlands is a monarchy. It is yes. <laughs> but I thought it was so amusing to see Koningsdag the first year I was here. I was like, wow. Yeah, it was a giant yard sale across the whole country in every city. Yeah, it depends where you live. <laughs> I didn't have a garage, so I thought it was funny calling it a garage sale, so it's a yard sale. <laughs> but we're not selling the yard, right? <clears throat> You're not selling the garage. <clears throat> You're just selling the stuff that was in the garage. <clears throat> and on the yard. Nederlanders held an oak van Zomer Vacancy. Zij gaan dan graag naar een warm land. Wel, veel Nederlanders gaan kamperen. Ze slapen dan in een tent of in een caravan. Na de vakantie gaan ze weer slapen in hun eigen huis. No joke, in this city, on the northern... <coughs> in the North Borough, Across the river I and there's a big park there and apparently some people just take their campers and go to the park there in the summer and it's like they're on vacation or something I don't know anyways are there green words in here eight and yeah I know how to conjugate eight and haven I know how to conjugate haven all right they're saying hard words here. Uh, not really that hard. Werden to celebrate. Schatzen. That's there to skate. <coughs> All right. Camperen. Yeah, that's not there to camp. How does Dutch conjugation go? Pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. Where's my Dutch conjugation? All oh, further up. Oh, those might be irregular verbs. Hold on. Those might be slightly irregular. <coughs> Basically. <coughs> You drop the E-N, you're left with the ik form, basically. Except in this case, you have to double the A. But then, then, but then, so, yai, hai, zai, yeah, the T. And then, for the plural, it's the same as the infinitive. 
It's pretty easy. <coughs> yeah, German's more complicated. I'm not happy about that one. <laughs> I haven't remembered all the German conjugations. <coughs> yeah, just three different forms in the present for the most part. Best one is uh, here. Werken. Werken's a good one. Werken. We go ich werk. Sorry, ich werk here. Ich werk. And then you can do jai. Jai. Hi. Zai werkt. And then for the plural. Plural. <laughs> Werken. <laughs> Werken. It's pretty easy. Just three forms. <laughs> I think you like Danish conjugation. There is no conjugation. She has no region conjugation in Chinese conjugation. Me? What? Huh? Or Danish. All right. Compare. I think that was it. <coughs> no, but... It I think Norwegian and Danish still has conjugation in the, still has tenses. Yeah, it's technically not completely zero because there's tenses, right? Okay. Okay, vraag 1. Wanneer geven Nederlanders elkaar cadeautjes? Op 5 December. Center class. Yeah, I, I know this. What ate in Nederlanders fell? Are apples? Frag three. What do Nederlanders of Koningsdag? <laughs> and so op strat oude dinge. Kopen and verkopen. Vraag 4. Waar gaan Nederlanders graag naartoe in de zomervakantie? Um, naar een warme land. <coughs> Vraag 5. Wat doen Nederlanders als het heel koud wordt? Is dat wat ze zeggen? Oh, sch schatzen. All right, next. <laughs> but in the indicative mood, there is the same ending in the present stage, which is even more basic than English, but that's the only thing that's easier. <laughs> that's what I think too. And I don't really, I don't not like conjugation. I think it's amusing. Another story, another short story. I think it's amusing to, yeah, because there's always a pattern. The concept blew my mind in high school. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Zo ate in Nederlander. In Nederland ate in mensen de meeste dingen met bestek. As I ate in bijna alles met mess and fork. In Boterham met Kaas by Verveld. In de linkerhand nemen ze de fork, in de rechterhand nemen ze het mes. Ze snijden het eten met mes en fork. Sommige dingen eten Nederlanders met één hand. Soep by Verveld. Soep kun je niet eten met mes en fork. Soep eten doe je met een lepel. Soms eten Nederlanders iets zonder bestek. Een zak betaat bij voorbeeld. Of 
and croquette. Sorry, croquette. <coughs> I knew it was croquette. I don't know why I said croquette. I was like, whoa, with Spanish. I was like, things can happen that don't in English. This was 2011, so I didn't know what I know now. <laughs> All right. I don't see. Eta, Naaman, I guess. They're the green words. Okay, so let's type in these other words. Pastec. Pastec is a... <clears throat> I know what this means. This is utensils. It's a het word. I would translate it as utensils, but or cutlery. Is it really just cutlery? Actually, yeah, it's just cutlery. And actually, how do they pronounce it again? Bistec, I think. Bistec? Bistec. Bistec. No, it's bistec. 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 Next one. <coughs> By for build. They have have that already, okay. And Zak Patat. We already know what patat is. <coughs> and Zak is just like <coughs> just like they they serve fries in a cone, a paper cone. Yeah, a bag. It's just a bag. Off in croquettes. Croquettes is from the French word croquettes. And they're they're really pretty good. They're pretty good depending. <coughs> kegel? Huh? What's kegel? Croquettes. The word. The croquettes. These are croquettes. <coughs> and they're filled with like like stuff on the inside like this. I mean a cone seems more efficient than the box we use like in like McDonald's. <coughs> See that's a croquette. Croquette. Is it really called a croquet in English? I mean, <laughs> I don't think. I guess so. Yeah. It's just straight from French. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. You can buy them at a, at a fast food chain. Here called Fable, and um, this is fast food chain here called Fable. It's really cool. You go there, <coughs> and this is definitely pre-Corona times. But you go there. They also have like pinna now. Oh, sorry, debit cards. You can swipe with your debit card tapping. But you go there and you put money in and just open it and grab whatever you want for however much. It's kind of neat. It reminds me of stuff in like the 1950s or something. <laughs> oh, that that is one I've been at. <laughs> I've been here, guys. I have been here. It looks like a mozzarella stick, I know. I've been here. Exactly that location. Please don't start stalking me, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, those debit cards really define the next. No, I'm saying that this is the coin operated things, but it's just this thing. Like, see? It's like this. It, um, this. See, this one's a coin operated one. You put money in, and you can pull it out. <coughs> but the 1950s didn't have the coins, I think. The 1950s had something else. But it's really kind of really cool. I like that. Okay, back to my lesson. <laughs> I 
Alright. You'll probably find it amusing. <coughs> <coughs> This is definitely something I think we need back in North America. I don't know why it went completely away. I mean, I guess, I guess because North America ended up like the drive-through fast food places became more popular. I think. They do sell burgers. Oh, no, I want. And they also sell the Dutch um, frikandelle, the Dutch sausages. Lekker. I don't know, can I trust people in their dirty hands since everyone sticks their hand in there after they pay? No, 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 there's only one thing in the slot. And then after they leave, somebody else puts something new in. <coughs> yeah. The Netherlands does not like cars. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think North Americans just went in with the cars. Here it's bicycles, especially Amsterdam. It's all bicycles. <clears throat> I should really learn how to ride a bike properly. Don't ask. Everyone asks me this. And I'm like, no, I can't ride a bike. I can't keep my balance on a bike. And they're like, you do Taekwondo. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, different thing. <clears throat> I can control my body. I can't control the bike. It's different. Vraag 1. Met hoeveel handen eet de Nederlanders de meeste dingen? Twee handen. Bike is not a taekwondo. No kidding. <clears throat> I'll just rely on buses and trains. I rely on my two feet. <laughs> I like walking gear. Yeah. I kind of know how to ride a bike. Okay, to be fair, I kind of know how to ride a bike. I just never had a bike that was the right size for me. So that I get used to riding for a long period of time. <clears throat> I actually want to be in a pedestrian city or country. Maybe Portugal someday. I don't know. No, Greece. I can't possibly commute by walking though. I don't know, I used to walk quite a lot. I still walk quite a lot when I go out. just end up walking a lot. <coughs> Let's see. I mean, I might pay a little bit for it afterwards, but then my muscles feel strong again. Let's see what my Google Fit tells me. That was Friday. I went for my thing on Friday, right? Let's see. It says I walked 4.88 kilometers to the appointment <coughs> and 5.47 kilometers back. So I walked about 10 kilometers on Friday. <laughs> <coughs> I walk. You can always use training wheels. I can walk to uni. I'm going to Scandinavia. I can't even walk anywhere. I had to take public transport to the exam location. Uh, I could choose any bus, tram, or metro while I can, but not to like the doctors or school or which one did you choose, Mike Metro? And it was quite the exodus, less affected by traffic and more space. That is true about Metro, even here. <coughs> Guess that's the downside to public transportation. It is. I never really liked rush hour in Toronto, it just get packed. Like, painfully packed. <laughs> you want to feel like sardines? Okay, vraag 2. Who ate a Nederlanders in Boterham met Kaas? Met een hand? <laughs> oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> How do they eat a bolt on her medcast? Uh, apparently with two hands. <coughs> I'd rather bike or drive than I'll buy an EV then. I'm going to do this probably radical concept of, in Europe called cruising. <laughs> Frag 3. Eten Nederlanders and croquettes zonder bestek of met bestek. Croquettes or zonder? <coughs> zonder bestek. Frag 4. Met welk bestek eten Nederlanders soep? Soep eten doe je met een lepel. <coughs> In welke hand nemen de meeste Nederlanders het mes? <coughs> In de Rechte hand in the right hand. They put the knife in the right hand, fork in the left. <coughs> Which is where you drive around with a particular mindedness. A destination of mine. Yeah, I don't recommend driving a lot in Amsterdam. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Next short story. There's three in this one. Actually, there's there's four short stories in this one. Schilders in a in a museum. Can you speciale dingen zien? Schilderijen by Verbelt. Nederland heeft beroemde schilders. Iedereen kent Van Gogh en Rembrandt. Rembrandt leefde 400 jaar geleden. Van Gogh leefde 150 jaar geleden. <coughs> I love to cruise though. Uh, deze schilders zijn nu dood. It's fun, I have to admit. Maar de schilderijen hangen in een museum. Mensen uit de hele wereld komen naar Amsterdam. Zij gaan naar een museum in Amsterdam. Zij komen voor de schilderijen van Van Gogh en Rembrandt. <laughs> I personally like Van Gogh better. Having seen Rembrandt's paintings and Van Gogh's paintings in real life now, <laughs> I do like Van Gogh's paintings more. I don't know. I mean, I never really took a close look at Rembrandt's paintings before, but I was like, hmm. Yeah, I got to see Van Gogh's stuff. <coughs> <coughs> if that's the price I have to pay, at least I had my memories. <laughs> Okay. Vraag 1. Actually, no. Uh, Bart Verbeld, beroemde. Beroemd. You can have that. <coughs> this is famous. Are you a fan go? <coughs> no. Maybe. No, I'm a fan of fan go. Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. 
new dog. Dad. <coughs> <coughs> Never seen a painting for that one as well. We all know that the painting overlord is Edvard Munch, the Norwegian man who painted the screen. Uh huh. He has the name and he has fun in his name. He probably cruises. Uh, the story I found goes kind of sad though. Pretty sure he was gay too. Oh yeah, they robbed that one in Oslo when I was a child. Yeah, the scream. I know which one that is. He cut off his ear. He did cut off his ear. <coughs> <coughs> but they didn't know how to treat him. <laughs> we were just like... Okay, Frach ein. Von er lebte Rembrandt. Vier hundert fünfte Jahre geleden. Yeah. Okay, so do that. Oh, stop that. So it was. <coughs> vier hundert. No, four hundred. Just four hundred. I'm drinking so much water today, I'm practically swimming. Hmm? He didn't know how to treat his ear either. <clears throat> Indeed. Not like Danish numbers. Var hangen fell sudden iron van van ho van ho in Rembrandt. <coughs> in Amsterdam. In a museum in Amsterdam. Let's see how this is supposed to be pronounced in Dutch. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <coughs> there was also an Edvard Grieg. Was he Greek? Excuse me. Who composed Morning Mood and In the Hall of the Mountain King. Interesting. <coughs> uh -huh, that's right, fun means Dutch German. Okay. Vraag 3. Wie komen naar de schilderij kijken? To distant. To distant or just Mensen? Oh, it just says Mensen. <coughs> Next. Vraag weer, wanneer leeft de vraag van ah, 150 jaar geleden? That was really sad about Theo Van Gogh, though. Vraag 5. <coughs> Zijn Rembrandt en Van Gogh beroemd? Ja. Yeah. Alright, next one. You probably heard both, even if you don't recognize the names. <coughs> <coughs> when I barely went into high school band, the upperclassmen really liked Hall of the Mountain King. Interesting. 
one of this symphony by the <laughs> I'd have to hear it like I, I probably know you're probably right I probably know it I'd have to hear it <coughs> but yes Beethoven and Swiss Symphony we all know that one the deaf one oh dears all right next story Alt for Kolp Alt for Kolp what's Alt for Kolp <laughs> Alt for Kolp in Alt for Kolp it's basically sale on sale bargain sale in January is hit in Nederland out for cope. Actually, they do want me to add it. <coughs> the C programming language is so popular that even Beethoven wrote his symphony in C. Yes, he did. Wait, wait, wait. Is this C major or C minor? I don't remember. In January is hit in Nederland out for cope. Kleidings winkels and schoenen winkels for kopen spulen for minder health. You know, I actually would study more music if I didn't have to worry about torturing my neighbors. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if there's a way to play like a clarinet or a violin and just have the sound go get recorded to the computer and into a headset. That would be better because then I won't have to worry about bothering my neighbors. Alright, sorry. Alt for Kolp. In January, is het in Nederland Alt for Kolp. Kleding winkels and schoenen winkels for Kolp and Spulen for minder geld. Broeken, trouwen and schoenen kosten tijdens de Alt for Kolp minder. Soms is er een actie. Twee halen, een betalen. Of je krijgt 50% korting. Dat noemen de winkelers een goede aanbieding voor hun klanten. De winkels willen de oude kleding graag verkopen. De mode verandert snel in Nederland. Kleding is dus goedkoop in januari, maar goedkoop is niet gratis. Alles kost altijd geld, ook in Nederland. Hij <coughs> is C. Minor. Ja, yeah, sorry, C minor. That means in C, I, I, in C in Scandinavian. <laughs> Isn't that called MIDI? Isn't that literally MIDI? I haven't talked about it, but that's right. Oh, interesting. Okay, out for cope. Yeah, I was supposed to add that anyways. Out for cope. <laughs> Bargain sale. Um, it's more of an expression. It's not a thing. And Oh, it is a thing. <coughs> it is. It's a duh. Okay. Dungeon? Rainpot dungeon? In Scandinavian, it's the same in Norwegian, Swedish, and da Danish. Honari Denmark. Yeah, I think I remember that. In Norwegian. Spulen. Spulen. Spul. Actually, no. I want the singular. It means stuff. <coughs> Where's the stuff? It's spooling. It's spool. Why on the school? Why not? How are you to say on top of the school? Huh? Mike, are you answering? Are you answering um, <coughs> people's questions about Norwegian? Tidens. 
cadence is during. Ah, creating is this. We already have that one. So that's all right. <laughs> What can we say about bargain sales in the Netherlands? Answer first, be asked later. The Scandinavian writing system is pretty. It's interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. And welke periode van het jaar is de uitverkoop in Nederland? In January. It just says in Yeah. Question. In January. <coughs> Frag Frag twee. Welke winkels have an outfocope? Uh basically all of them. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll just type plating wrinkles and swooning wrinkles. <coughs> Hold on. Frag 3. What will the wrinkles graag verkopen in the outverkoop? Outer clading or newer clading? Yeah. Outer clading. Frag 4. Is the clading tidings the alpha coat? Good copper? Yeah. <coughs> Fra 5. 5% coating, is that a good unbeating? Yeah, yeah, apparently they think it is. Okay. Done with that part. <laughs> We have more reading. I'm so gonna die. They want with all this reading. <coughs> he is in Denmark. She's in school. <gasps> oh my! My Quizlet deck tomorrow. You're making a Quizlet deck. Why on the school? Why not? And how do, how do you say on top of the school? That's a first BS lady. Scandinavian learning system is right. <coughs> well, we do want to make it easier on students. I made a stark discovery about them the other night. That is how they want students to deal with our exams, but I think drawing a picture is better than explaining it or exams. Talk as much as you wish to, freely on topic. We do we have to do that there. Spoken exams, not dentist appointments. Exams in school. <coughs> Yeah, I would expect that from me, too. The less you have to be asked, nudged in the right direction, the better. As long as you're staying on topic, it's good that you can speak freely about it. We have to do tests where we talk <coughs> in school. That sounds nerve-wracking. But if my 26-year-old me was in place with my 16-year-old me, then I'll have fun. <laughs> <coughs> All right. More stuff. Okay, uh, more reading comprehension, but multiple choice answers. <sighs> Texting. In China, eaten mensen mit twee stokkas. Zij eaten altijd mit een hand. Zij eaten mit de rechter hand. Ze pakken twee stokjes in hun rechter hand. Met die twee stokjes pakken ze de reis, de groente en het vlees. Ze doen de reis met de stokjes in hun mond. Chinezen kunnen snel eten met stokjes. Nederlanders kunnen niet zo goed met stokjes eten. Zij hebben messen en vorken en ze eten met twee handen. Chinezen kunnen veel goed met mes en vork eten. Maar ze doen dat nooit. <coughs> Well, why would we? All right. 
vraag heen. Who ate in de Chinezen? Uh, met één hand. <coughs> Antwoord A. Vraag 2. Who ate in de Nederlanders? <laughs> met mes en vork. B. Antwoord B. <coughs> I can't even imagine a verbal exam. I had to do a listening exam for Spanish, but not a talking one. I had to do a written exam in German. Yeah, I did all of that for French. <coughs> <coughs> listening and speaking was done at the same time. We just went to the French lab. <laughs> Text 2. Mein Freundin and ich Helden von Dansen Wij gaan vaak naar de discotheek. Meestal is dat in het weekend. Op zaterdag is het gezellig en druk in de discotheek. Er komen dan veel mensen. Wij zijn jong en willen lekker dansen. Soms blijven we in de discotheek tot vier uur ochtends. We komen dan heel moe thuis. En de volgende dag slapen we heel lang. Dat is ook lekker. <coughs> How did that one go? East it. Shouldn't pop half for I'll say because I'm not Canada. <laughs> AKA I got a six naturally. I presume on a scale from one to six with only four grades. No pluses or minuses. So I guess this is where you wouldn't want to be number one indeed. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I got a lion's bane sword. <gasps> Wait, there's an archer's ring? And yeah, you, f you found a pet. I don't even know if I can use a lion's bane sword. But I'm, I don't need a sword, I'm an archer. Frag 3. Waar gaan mijn vrienden en ik in het weekend? Vak naar toe. Naar een discotheek. <coughs> See, I think I ate a lot earlier, people. Oh, shouldn't have eaten so much. Answer C. Frag 4. Wanneer komen er veel mensen in de discotheek? Saturday. Answer A. Okay, next one. Do er ik kan knocking. Is it under rain? Oh. Yeah, I have the bow, but I have the sword. No, I should be able to equip it, I think. I don't know. I'll look at my thing later. <laughs> I probably can equip it then. I guess I'm no longer naked. Not anymore. It is one of the first words I recognize. <laughs> it's Mike. Being naked is sexual harassment. What? I don't know if it's closer to kind or nicht. To be naked is indecent exposure. <laughs> All right. Text three. My Frau Klein loped met a car in the supermarket. Er liggen al veel dingen in, haar, in de kar. Ze heeft een man en vier kinderen. Iedereen moet elke dag eten en drinken. Een groot gezin heeft veel nodig. Zij, ze zoekt de aardappelen. Waar liggen toch de aardappelen? Ze kan ze nergens vinden. Ze ziet een medewerker van de supermarkt. Ze vraagt hem waar de aardappelen zijn. Dan zegt de medewerker, sorry mevrouw, de aardappelen zijn op. Morgen hebben we weer nieuwe aardappelen. Oh no, they ran out of potatoes. <coughs> I guess I can read something better than me a month ago. I guess it's more like a sexual thing. I have no idea. Vraag <laughs> 5. 
wenn er läuft mit Frau Klein durch den Supermarkt. Um, mit, wa, sorry, wenn er, war mir, war mir läuft mit Frau Klein durch den Supermarkt. Mit in Car. Yes, that's a cart. Uh, Antwort B. A Frasses. An wie fragt me Frau Klein, war de Aardappel lint lichen? An de Medewerker. Antwort D. <coughs> Alright. Finally, we're out of the reading part. I mean, it's good practice for me to do all the reading. And now I have to do these listening exercises. I'm getting really sleepy, guys. This might be it <laughs> for the day. I'm probably going to close this. I mean, it's not saved. <clears throat> of what? <sighs> Lesson twenty four. Les 24. Onderdeel F. Oefening 1. U hoort steeds een zin. U zoekt uit een stapel. Het is loud enough. <coughs> kaartjes. Een goed kaartje. U legt de kaartjes in de goede volgorde op de tafel. Na 10 zinnen controleert u de antwoorden. Oké. Okay. 1. De vrouw. Staat niet in een winkel. 2. Hij legt het vlees. 3. De keuken. 3. Jullie. We vinden vandaag de melk lekker. 4. Zij vindt de hond leuk. 5. <coughs> Ik ga elke dag naar de man. 6. Naar de wat? Naar de man. Oké, okay, I'm going to speak down then. Because I need to type. Where is? 6. Zes. De man. Ik ga elke dag naar de man. De man? <coughs> Alright. Sounds like he says he goes to the moon every day. <coughs> Zes. Hoe rijdt Adriaan naar Amsterdam? Hoe rijdt Adriaan naar Amsterdam? Na me. 7. Mijn vriend zit altijd in het huis. Um. Mijn vriend zit altijd in het huis. Zit altijd in het huis. Reading out potatoes is no fun when you already have the oil ready to fry them. Mm-hmm. Ravenpaw continues after the stream. Yeah, unless unless it crashes or something. 
and I don't know about it. <clears throat> but yeah. Hey Keys, and you can play in other people's streams as well. I forgot to answer harassment. I guess that makes sense. I can't even spell because sometimes I forget all the letters. 26 is a lot to keep track of when it's not even enough. Did you know sexual? It could be both masculine and feminine grammatically. Huh. That's amusing. Okay, where was I? No, wait. Eight. Acht. Aan wie geeft mijn vader 10 euro? What? <coughs> oh. Aan wie heeft mijn vader 10 euro? Negen. Negen. Hoe laat eten de studenten de tomatensoep? Does this say who lad eaten the student the tomato soup? <laughs> tomato soup, denten, the student eaten, who lad, who lad eaten, the student the tomato soup. I don't know. Oh. The boer heeft in jullie veel eieren. Alright. <clears throat> I think that was it. Next. Uh, oh, makes sense. It has to be in my because must has to be in Norwegian but can in Danish false friend or even called me all right next one YouTube videos I have to watch three of them I don't know if I can continue with the rest of this tonight there's so much <laughs> I was tired to begin with twenty four Wonen in een dorp. <coughs> Deze film. is gemaakt door Adapo Taaltrainer. Deze film is onderdeel van ons boek Inwerking A1, studieboek. Oh, nee, Deze film vertelt een verhaal. U kijkt en u luistert. U hoort daarna vragen. U geeft een kort antwoord. U hoort daarna het goede antwoord. U kunt de teksten vinden in ons boek. Veel plezier. Wonen in een dorp. Ik woon in een klein dorp. Op zondag is het stil in mijn dorp. Niemand werkt op die dag. Veel oude mensen gaan dan naar de kerk. Maar jonge mensen doen dat meestal niet. Zij blijven liever thuis bij de televisie of de computer. Vragen en antwoorden. Woon ik in een dorp of in een stad? Dat woon ik liever daar in mijn U kunt de teksten vinden in... Ik woon in een klein dorp. Ja, dorp. In een dorp. Wanneer is het stil in mijn dorp? Ik weet niet. 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 Ik weet Ik woon in een klein dorp. Op zondag is het stil in mijn dorp. Niemand werkt op die dag. Veel oude zondag is het stil in mijn dorp. Niemand werkt op die dag. Veel oude mensen gaan... Wie waar gaan veel oude mensen... Doe dat meestal niet. Hoe oude mensen gaat het stil in mijn dorp. Niemand werkt op die dag. Mm -hmm. Veel oude mensen gaan dan naar de kerk. To church. Maar jonge mensen doen dat meestal niet. Zij blijven liever thuis bij de televisie of de computer. Vragen en antwoorden. Mm -hmm. Woon in een dorp of in een stad? In een dorp. In een dorp. Een zondag. Wanneer is het stil in mijn dorp? Op zondag. Op zondag. Wie werkt op zondag? Niemand. Niemand.
Waar gaan veel oude mensen op zondag naartoe? To the, the kerk? Naar de kerk. Naar de kerk. I think that was it. Blijven jonge mensen liever thuis? Of gaan ze liever naar de kerk? Thuis. Ze blijven liever thuis. <coughs> Next. Deze film. Yes. It's so weird to see native speakers doing what the dictionary says. Phonem or better than masculine if you can help it. I couldn't even make such a judgment call, but I'll take your advice. Feminine is more common across dialects, but it's more impressive if you can handle three genders. More common than not using it. Ha. Is gemaakt door Apple Taalteam. Lazy. Deze film is onderdeel van ons boek Inburgering A1, studieboek. U geeft een kort veel plezier. De herfst. De herfst? Het is herfst in Nederland. De bladeren oh, aan de bomen the wrong zijn word. niet... This is the wrong video. It's the wrong video. It's going backwards. That's why. Drie sleutel. Drie sleutels. <coughs> Deze film is gemaakt door... Ad Ad Drie sleutels. Ik heb drie sleutels. Ik doe de deur van mijn huis dicht met een sleutel. Uh -huh. Met die sleutel doe ik de deur ook open. Uh -huh. De tweede sleutel is van mijn auto. Zonder die sleutel kan ik niet rijden in mijn auto. De derde sleutel is van mijn fiets. Uh -huh. Met die sleutel zet ik mijn fiets op slot. Mijn fiets staat altijd buiten. Ik ben bang voor dieven. Daarom staat mijn fiets altijd op slot. Okay. Vragen en antwoorden. He locks his bike all the time because he is worried about thieves. I guess I'll just err in making all words feminine in Norwegian. Just be safe with me. Just stick to Danish. Makes sense. Since the plural feminine and gender look similar in many ways, like the art in like articles and stuff. Van welke drie dingen heb ik een sleutel? Um, three dingen. Um, zijn deur, <coughs> zijn, zijn auto, en zijn fiets. Oké. Okay. Huis, auto, fiets. Oh, house. Right, right. House, auto. <coughs> Whatever, I was thinking about the front door to his house. Rijd ik met sleutel of zonder sleutel in mijn auto? Sleutel, ja. Yeah. Sleutel. Met sleutel. Met sleutel. Mm -hmm. Staat mijn fiets altijd binnen? Uh, nee. No. Buiten. Buiten. Oké. Okay. Nee. Buiten. Voor wie ben ik bang? Dieven. 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 All right, that one's done. <coughs> Next one. I'm really sleepy now. I think I'm gonna have to finish this tomorrow because after this, there's gonna be a Sunday to fill in the sentences. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> No. I will all. Uh, I wonder whatever happened to that Norwegian American streamer, Nordic Soy? Mesha gonna get amazing marks, Faith? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, Nordic Soy hasn't been around for a while. He's been, he's, he's in Norway. He, he lives, he's learning Norwegian because he lives in Norway. Hell success. Yes, yeah, so I'm falling asleep right now, guys. I don't think I can do the 72 fill in the sentences after this. Deze film is gemaakt door Apple Taalteam. Deze film is onderdeel van ons boek Inwerking A. Daarna kunt u de teksten vinden in ons boek. Veel plezier. Kaas. In Nederland zijn veel koeien. Talk about cheese. Zij geven veel lekkere melk. Oh, lekkere melk. De boer maakt kaas van de melk. 
In Nederland eten mensen veel kaas. Mm-hmm. Er is jonge kaas en oude kaas. Mm-hmm. Nederlanders eten veel kaas op brood. Mm-hmm. Soms eten ze ook kaas zonder brood. That's a cow that I pass. Good job, Gia. Yeah. Alleen ook. Soms eten ze ook kaas zonder brood. Alleen maar kaas. Ze drinken bier of wijn en eten dan een stuk kaas. Veel Nederlanders zijn gek op kaas. Maar veel buitenlanders vinden kaas niet lekker. Vragen en antwoorden. Alright. Wat maakt de boer van de melk? Um, kaas. Kaas. I should be typing my answers. Eten Nederlanders kaas alleen op brood of ook zonder brood? Um. I think to both zonder brood. I mean, the question is, do they eat cheese on bread or without bread? They do both. Kaas. Eten Nederlanders kaas alleen op brood of ook zonder brood? Let's see. Beide? Ook zonder brood. Zonder brood. Eten Nederlanders kaas alleen op brood of ook zonder brood? Ook zonder brood. Oh, oké. Okay. Ook zonder brood. I just heard what he wants. Ook zonder brood. Oké, okay, next. Wat drinken Nederlanders bij de kaas? Wijn. Bier of wijn? Bier of wijn. Zijn Nederlanders boos op kaas of zijn ze gek op kaas? Hek. Gek op kaas. Alright. Deze film is gemaakt door Appa Paul Oké, okay, I think we're done with those. Um. Yeah, that's the next one. I really wanted to get through more, but I am falling asleep now. There is... The next thing I have to do is 72 fill in the answers, which I don't feel like doing when I'm dead tired. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm gonna call it because I'm falling asleep now, guys. Thanks for being here, though. I might actually be able to go to sleep properly. I'm gonna go have a shower and then go to sleep, I think. <laughs> uh, no, you failed. You only answered one question. Is that how you say pass in Dutch? No, it isn't. We haven't for pass in the exam. I'm tired, don't mind me. I mean, if worse comes to worse, there's always a next semester. <coughs> Indeed. That means I get to see my favorite teacher again. That's cool. Yeah, I need to study vocabulary. It was, it was fun. Yes, it was definitely fun. I think I'm just really tired. I need some sleep. So let's send you over to somebody else. Who should I send you over to? Um... <coughs> Um, I see people online. We can watch the guy. We can watch this guy learning Russian if you want. I don't think he's very talkative, but oh, it's all right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send you guys all over to Talkin. Do you guys remember Talkin? Yeah, I see that. I'm going to send you guys over to Telkin, okay? And, and Phil Master is also streaming Russian again. You can go drop in on him if you want. I don't think he's super talkative, but he does, you know, I don't think he minds the views, but. Uh, so we're going to read Telkin. <coughs> um, I do see that he's on. <coughs> I'm really gonna fall over and go to sleep. So probably just give him my best wishes. I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm pulling up the stream right now so I can at least say hi. Hopefully I get that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just making sure I type that in right. So that is it for me. You can't see me waving bye-bye because camera is off and I'm really sleepy. I'm starting to fall off my chair. I <laughs> stream tomorrow. <laughs> I am considering it. We'll see how tired I am. I don't normally stream. My schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays right now, and every other day, and the other days are potential stream days, or today, I don't know, you mean later, but yeah, it's Wednesday, so I'll see if I have time, I definitely want to get through more, more of this, but maybe, I don't know, I, I really want to get through more of this, but maybe I should take a break, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see, I don't know if I have time, um, I'm going to, yeah, we'll see what happens when I get up. I definitely need some sleep. So you can see me waving. Bye-bye. But thanks for watching. Bedankt for het kijken. Tot later. See you later. That was Tuesday. It's Wednesday morning for me now. Yeah. <laughs> End scene on. And as always, NinjaBot Raid or NinjaBot's incoming if you're feeling chatty. If not, just support the streamer by following the raid through. You can always leave afterwards. You don't have to say anything. And there's our raid. Let's do this raid. And you guys can give Telkin my best wishes. <laughs> I don't know how chatty I'm going to be. Alright, there we go. Raid now.